Oh, that's such a good vibe. It's a beautiful vibe. Love it. Mac the peak. Oh, I don't have my notes open. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been very embarrassing to not have notes. Oh, is it embarrassing to even write notes for a stream? I'm putting in a lot of effort into this, but you know what? I don't put effort into counting in time. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BNBO stream today on this fine 24th of July 2023. That's right, it's 24-7 if you're in Australia or other most parts of the world really. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's been a uh, fairly comfy, it's starting to warm up, the sun is getting, you know, it's setting later, you know, the world keeps moving on, but that's the joys of late July great it's you know you're on the back half of, of you know winter we get into that um so yeah i hope you you've had a wonderful week and you know you keep having a wonderful time uh and i hope you'll enjoy this stream we are returning back to another game that i played ages ago let's get into it before the song stops there we go this might uh i might do a volume check I'll do a, uh, I think it's just going to be the PlayStation logo that's loud. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be returning back to a game that I've played once on this channel. Only once. I don't think I've got any game that i played multiple times that I haven't played on stream. I don't know. Uh, but this, this is probably one of, one of, I can think of one more game, and then we'll do that one next. Um... Of an older game that I played on my channel ages ago when I was a, a, a squeaky kid. And uh, I think it, it would have been 2008 or could have been 2009 I played this game. Uh, this is a game I had as a kid. I have memories of it, but over time I've started to have a very curious opinion. I'm going to use the word curious a lot. This is... Walt Disney Pictures presents The Emperor's New Groove, a 2000 video game for the PlayStation 1 developed by Argonaut Software. The same development studio that brought you such games as uh, Croc. And some people will attribute Star Fox, but I think the important thing to note is even though Argonaut Software's name is all over those games, note who actually is in the credits for these games. Because I can't see anyone other than the composer, the music composer, who's on this game as well as Croc. They, uh, I think there's a level designer, there is a level designer, who's there with the first Croc, but I didn't see him on the second one. Maybe, actually, maybe he was on the second one. I need to pay more attention. Let's look at the options, first of all. Uh, some people will have very nostalgic feelings for this game, uh, and the movie itself. You don't have too many options, uh, but vibration is off by default, which is a curious choice. Um, panel display is, uh, the heads up display hides away when it's irrelevant, look mode sounds obvious, you can, you know, do surround sound, is that Dolby surround? Who knows? We'll leave it on the pretty standard stuff, and obviously, you gotta do that every time you go in here. Uh, some people also know this is the only time the Angel and Devil, uh, Kronk appears in the entire game, which is true. There is gonna be a lot of it only happens once kinds of moments in this game. And I think it adds to this curious nature. So I've, I did a run through of this game earlier this week to remind me of the whole game, but also because no one on GameFAQs has written up where all the coins are. Now, in my original playthrough of the game, ages ago, I might as well get into it. Um, uh, I'll, I'll mention this is the bride scene. It's like 20 seconds at the beginning of the film. Um, but that's your, that's your save select. Um, and then, uh, of the, uh, we're not really gonna see it right now, but this map select, the level select screen, is reminiscent of another scene. The scene where they're running across and leaving the dotted lines behind them. Uh, now, I don't know if YouTube is gonna let me show the movie clips. So, we'll take a, we'll take a guess, probably not. I'm just gonna talk over it, describe the scene. Um, but for reference... This movie is 78 minutes long. It's actually fairly short for, you know, regular film standards. This scene takes place 
23 minutes into the film because we've already established that Cusco is a jerk. He's the emperor. He does his groove. He's thrown the old guy out the window. He's, uh, Yzma's done a bad job on the throne and he fires her. Uh, Pacha comes up and then Cusco's like, oh, I'm building Cuscotopia on your, on your land. And he's like, I'm very upset. And he's like, that's okay. I'll throw you out the window as well. Uh, something like that. And then Yzma is very upset because she was very loyal and she's like, I want to kill the Cusco. <laughs> Something like that, you know. And uh, she she tries to, you know, does the trek to the lab. Wrong leather, Kronk. You know, that happens. Um, and then Kronk accidentally gives Cusco a llama potion and then in his you know, tries to throw him away in a bag, but is like, oh, you know, I've got at least some, some semblance of good and I don't want to do that. And in some kerfuffle, Cusco ends up on a trail, on a, on, on Patch's, like, cart and his trail all the way back to his village. And then he wakes up in this bag and we're 23 minutes into the film. Now the next four worlds of the game out of eight all take place in the next 10 minutes of the film. It is rather incredible how... I don't know, like, when when we think about it, it's like the journey is always the, you know, the high, you know, like, density of video game material. Uh, but it does mean that this game invents a lot. Also, yeah, the, the, this this is the scene where Kuzco just kind of explains everything, and then you turn me into a llama, and Pacha's like, no, I didn't. And then, uh... Yeah, this uh, the video cuts off just before Pacha's like, no, I'm not following you. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. Um, and, uh, we'll dive right into it. But, yeah, on my original playthrough of the game, uh, I did a mostly start to finish playthrough. Is there much meaning to really 100%ing this game? No, not really. Because the only thing you get for getting all the coins, which is really it for the 100%, is a singular piece of concept art for the film. Each level, and that's it. Nothing else changes. Let's go. I want to get away from this uh, also, village, note, uh, Cusco and Patcha so are Kuzco. not voiced by David Spade and John Goodman. Rather, they are voiced by, the I wish I knew the name, but it's the ball teacher guy from else. Phil of the Future, and later, actually doing Cusco on the TV show. And Pacha's voice is not John Goodman, but it's the same guy who plays John Goodman in the Monsters, Inc. video game. And he does an equally kind of rough job. I don't make deals with Ed. Then I guess I can't take you back. Fine, I'll find my own way back. No, it's far too dangerous. No, nope. just wander around by my hut. I've placed rocks and pebbles to show where the lethal drops are. La 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 la, not listening. And don't take the villagers' coins. The villagers are my people, so those are my coins. Now, I would like to give some feedback. As a young, impressionable five-year-old playing this game, um, I will safely say the line about watch I place rocks and pebbles to show where the lethal drops are really confused me because I was expecting massive rocks. I think they're referring to the edge textures of the level. Um, but other than that, yeah, there's not really much point in collecting the coins, but collecting on the coins sort of means that you've you know, seen the whole level to some degree. And uh, there's definitely secrets and other kinds of things that I did not show off before. By your action button, you can smash these red pots. Other than Cusco and Krunk, uh, everyone else is voiced Good. well by I everyone. Like I mean, he's the Krunk and uh, the two kids voiced by the same people as the film. Very nice. Good job there. Uh, but there's something weirdly claustrophobic You're about sure all of these levels. Um, and that's why, sure. like, it's curious. This game is very well, curious. You can use your camera buttons to rotate the camera. I don't even know what a camera is. We're gonna get into heavy tutorials for the first, like, 20, 30 minutes. Um, oh my gosh, the frame rate. Um, now we've got, uh, wonderful crack in the wall. This is secret number one. This one's painfully obvious. Um, the bunnies don't do anything, don't worry. You can kill them, though. Um... But yeah, this is a game uh, that came out, yeah, in 2000. Argonaut made a couple of games uh, people would know. Um, and uh, I think I've played that Croc game um, a bajillion times. I actually played through Croc 1 again. Because Croc 1 is a game that I never used to really be able to 100%. 
as a wee youngin, and now I seem to be doing a bit better. This is a checkpoint, by the way. Checkpoint. So if you jump off, you just reappear there. Um, Apparently, you can jump. Because, because if I reminded myself of Croc 1, Croc 1 does not have checkpoints. You just go back to the beginning of the room. Uh, the dialogue is going to do these funny kind of fourth wall uh, quips. Um, they work half the time. And I'll, I'll talk on that in a, in a moment. This pad raises the columns to form steps. Once they're... Ooh. Ooh. You're, you're also going to hear the audio just dies. It's really random. It happens whenever. It happens on emulators, it happens on real hardware. Who knows? Uh, ever thought of making them stay up for good when you press the pad? Mm, no. Don't tell me. You got the brains in the family. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of platforming like this. Um, and we get into this like realm of like, what is this level? like? It's just all blue out here. <laughs> it's blue down below. Blue is out the blue little window. Where's this door go? This is just like an I well, maybe it's not an island. But we'll get into some egregious examples of uh when like a door just goes nowhere. Literally there is no room on the back of this mountain. You might think maybe there's something over there, but no, the mountain stops over there as well. <laughs> Where did this room come from? Who knows? Open some village doors, you have to put a pot on a pad. Llamas pick up pots by pressing their action button. Oh, oh controller. Controller. Listen, I when I started streaming, I'm gonna have to do the thing where I unplug my controller and then hope for the best that I didn't just kill the game. I'm sorry. Yep, it's cool. It works. How do you get nice. here so fast? Hey, it's a game. It's a game, yes. Don't get cocky, kid. Uh, what's that new... There's a new video game about, um... Uh... Video game perspectives. I want to try and bring it up, where it's like you take, like, a photo, and then you, like... Uh, kind of project the photo into the real world. It came up very recently. Charge, I'll try and find it. Your charge button when you're running. Oh, this Click person, one. you're not going to be able to finish a sentence, are you? It's just constantly crackling. Yeah, yeah, and if I collect five coins, my charge bar increases. That's basically I'm a biology kid. Oh, I'll never be able to find the game. You'll never catch me! <laughs> You're really gonna make me do this, aren't you? So, this kid uh, is probably one of the best thought out parts of the game. Just something where it's like, hey, you gotta chase a guy and he keeps, you know, running around all the time. Um, and then you gotta kind of deck and sometimes it's a bit tricky I'll take a second stab at it um, but he appears enough times I think sure but there's a lot of things in this game that only happen once or twice in like no time. Oh. hey you've broken my toy llama tubular you bro just my red idol and leave me alone he, he doesn't say <laughs> tubular but he really should he really should use red Cusco idols on red Cusco doors to open them Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, yeah, Red Kuzo Idols, just some keys. And almost, almost, all the time the keys are needed to continue the level, so... Yeah. The only thing you really ever miss out on are the coins. And there is a... Uh, can, I, sorry for skipping the cutscene, I'm hitting the button just at the same time. Um, there's an optional, or, or there's a continue item, uh, a Wampy, somewhere in the level. Every level has one. Hey, Pi, Only ever one. Ever I used to think there were more. Cusco, stay away from this ancient tree. It's very fragile. You mean rotten. It's just old, so leave it alone. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Just don't charge around by the tree, okay? I like saying things in all caps. Um, I like how Pacha is just like, I shall now walk to this humble abode and then phase out from existence. It's gone. Uh, and know that door is, or that, that house is not a place you can go into. You have to go into the very well telegraphed doors. Um, fortunately, there is a very roughly telegraphed door over here, which presents us with the second secret of the game. Uh, we have a bunch of pots just lying around. Um, some of these secrets start getting 
really stupid to find. Uh, which is why I kind of wanted to give this one another go. With a bit of a fresher, you know, more 20... <laughs> more, uh... 203rd decade kind of perspective, you know what I mean? Um... Oh my gosh. What is this shirt meant to be? I, I've never seen that. I've never figured that one out. A is a continue. If you have a wobby, Gosh, that's some Zed killing on her hair there. Isn't there? Kid, how do you know all this? I don't know. Beats me. I actually kind of, I do like the character models in this game. Like, I'm going to rip into a lot in this game eventually. But I will definitely say the character models are on point. Uh, Kuzco is animated fine. Wompy. I think he does the job. But uh, no one else is, you know, lip sync. They just kind of stand there. Um, I don't think Kuzco turns either. Like, just physically, his whole body just rotates. Pretty sure that's the case. But sure. So we got a Wompy. That's a, that's a continue. Um, I will do my best to also find every Wompy in the, the game. Um... I think there's an indicator anyways on the level select that you've done it. Hey, humans can look around by moving their heads. But I think llamas have to use their look button. Don't you have anything better to do? Use your look button to see the red eye yes, on yes, top of the Yes, yes, I statue. get it. Look buttons. Cool. Yeah. Um, so my goal with playing through this game is I'm probably going to do it in two streams. I think it will be pretty, pretty fair. None of the levels are particularly too long. And once we get past the tutorial-y stuff, you'll get less and less talking, so don't worry. But most of the levels are about... 10 minutes? Maybe less. Some are horrendously short. Like, you get a bit of a false impression if you think they're gonna be, like, this long, this many scenes. Um, there's the Red Idol, but they spit out some coins! I don't think the coins ever... Uh despawn that quickly, so don't ever run into problems there. Ooh, yeah. um, coin turns gr uh, gold at the top, which means that you've actually gotten every single one of them. So there you go. There's one level, 100%. It's all down. I shall figure out what that what that game is. But yeah, um, I just I want to kind of start off by talking about um, uh, like these licensed games at this time, and uh, in particular, like I never had a huge nostalgia for the film. I think I'd watched it once, but it had been a long time. And it's still, it's still a fair film. Uh, if anything, it's remarkably good for the, you know, the whole Kingdom of the Sun switch gears kind of thing they had to do. Um, because it was a pretty quick, like, having to turn the entire concept of the film, the cast, the script, um, pretty much you could just reuse the settings and call it a day, but, um, but yeah, they'd had to change it in time for, uh, Stay away from my Summer statue, 2000? Or was it a Christmas movie? Back up. I'm the Emperor! Open the door or I'll smash your statues to pieces! <laughs> Demon Llama! I, we need more voice takes that are just like, they scream. This is the only time in the game, I swear, <laughs> That you get a subtitle mid-gameplay. Oh, for reference. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the only time. So we got two different kinds of attacks. That's what this tutorial is doing. Okay, I'll open the door. Just leave my statues alone. Leave them alone. To smash the tall statues. You have to hit the X with your front kick. Llamas kick by pressing action when standing still. I don't think you particularly need to do the standing kick ever again. I think you do maybe once or twice, but most things, the uh, the jump attack works. And you've been also seeing me do a roll. Uh, these blue jumping... Are you going to make a comment? No. We've already, we've already established the Beatles. Door before it closes. Remember to use your charge. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, okay, okay. So my my relationship to the film isn't particularly, like, deep. But I've had this game as a kid, and I used to really not be able to handle the end of the second world. We'll get into that one uh, 
once I get there. Um, afterwards, it was like, yeah, it was a pretty, you know, clean move uh, through the rest of the game. Um, and obviously, I did a let's play of it back back in the old squeaker days, so I must have been able to beat it. But I don't think I have 100% of it for quite a while. Um, and to be honest, it's not crazy worth it. Um, now, to describe the game itself, I would definitely say the tutorial goes on for a fair bit. Like, some people are going to say the game is too short. Um, some... I actually... Hold on, let me, let me take a step back. I actually looked at a bunch of reviews of the game, like modern reviews. You know, YouTube channels are like 1,000 subs, 10,000 subs maybe. You never hit me off my new llama bike. We'll see about that, whiny little peasant. Three well-aimed spits should see Three you well -aimed destroyed. Three well-aimed spits! <laughs> there you go. Uh, I don't even need more grapes. I can get them just straight. I've done this game way too many times. Okay, that was a famous last word. <laughs> there you go. Easy enough. You've broken my toy llama again! You did it again! No, wait! I'm gonna Shaw. get a better one! Dang. Oh, I hit X too soon. Oh, no. <laughs> My impatience is getting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I do think that this tutorial goes on for a fair bit. Generally, this first level, or this first world, is pretty safe. Remember, you need grapes if you want to spit. Yes, yes. We've established that. How many coins do I have? 21? That's good. Just making sure. Uh, we got one lack, uh, loose coin over here as well. Um, Checkpoint. But yeah, I to to sum it up, a lot of people have every opinion about this. Sorry, every, there's, you seem to be able to find every opinion. This game is too long. This game is too short. This game is too easy. This game is uh, weirdly like difficult in like some occasions. It's. Uh, it's got, um, you know, like, they love the voice acting, they think there's a bit too much voice acting. Um, it's, there's a lot of opinions all over the place, and I, after playing through it again recently, I feel like you may be able to wing that jump, but I'm not even gonna, mm. Do I dare sequence break? It's just the door, you're gonna get your way out of this door. I'm curious if you can just, nope. Oh, that's a very nub. That wall stretches really wide. Okay. Um, there we go. Ooh, there. Um, Checkpoint. In the doorway behind me is a guard. Whoa, a really guard. You happen to be talking to a black belt llama? I can knock that guard down. Yes, kick. yes, we karate Remember, jump kick. Um, yeah, I'm of the opinion that this game is mixed. Yeah, yeah, kid. And now, I keep saying it's here. curious. I don't down, think it's necessarily boring or bland, but it is very, like, odd. It, it has a bunch of strange things. And I think the first thing that, you know, should be made clear is, one, Beatles? When did Beatles ever show up in the in the film? But also, when did Cusco ever just go, yeah, no, I'm gonna battle, like, take out this shirtless god right here. Like, just... There's a Wampy up here. Oh, he's that my is Wampy, wampy. number two. Uh, this game does the, uh, the kind of annoying thing where if you ever, like, backpedal a level... Actually, I think if you load a save, you, you, you lose all your Wampies. Um, but most likely you won't need them, or at the very least, you'll very worse, you'll need a uh, one. Well, I hate red jumping beetle. To stun a red jumping beetle. Oh you yeah, this this as well. Llama. If this is a tutorial on how to defeat wow. red jumping beetles, or at least stun them, will never cease to amaze me. I want you to count how many levels red jumping beetles appear in, because I swear it's just here, and you don't even have to like. <laughs> Just continue, bro. This next bit, you know, sure, okay, I can make the case, but, you know. Booyah! It's not that difficult to just get the final and go. You don't need to shoot them, and you can't defeat them, and you can't get coins. So, yeah, there's bits that I think work 
well, and there's bits that are just, like, very odd, but none of them are truly great, and none of them are truly terrible, but none of them are truly in the middle of the road either. It's just kind of, like, little things that irk me, big things that irk me. It's a very curious game. I, I, that's all I can say. Um, well, that's all I can say until I go through the game and then I go, ah, yes. Um, so this level introduces a new mechanic that is used a little bit, a very, very little bit. But to be honest, it's also not that long a game. So, uh, so oh yeah, yeah, I saw one review that said these uh, fly-throughs at the beginning of the level um, took way too long after a while. Um, so something as a, as a user, I don't know. You have to notice that putting a pot on pads... Oh my gosh, which pads were they? Two particular pads. Okay, I think having the center and the right one opens that front door. We want to then invert it and do the other two here. And that should open that door up there. Um, this guy, by the way, tells you a bunch of random things that are completely meaningless. For like most of the game. I got washed down the fast river oh. once. I found bumping against the riverbank oh. slowed oh. me down. In the mountains, bats come from hidden caves. Look up at the big boy at the diner there. He sure is hungry. These are all relating to so late in the game. And on top of that, these guys don't appear later on. My brother lives in the city, you know. He has a pet rabbit called Fluffy. Ghosts hate rabbits, but rabbits love carrots. In the it's, it's just a repertoire of bizarre notes. Um, <laughs> uh, as a kid, I used to be very confused because I couldn't get past the, um, the Jaguar level. Uh, you gotta hit all the bunnies. Fortunately, your no charge bar doesn't run out in the... Uh, these secret areas that have the time limit. Oh. Oh, I forgot to mention, these guys also made the, uh, well, the studio. Again, I don't know if it's the same guys made the, uh, the Harry Potter game. The Harry Potter and the, uh, um, and the Philosopher's Stone, not the, not the other name, uh, <laughs> which I played directly before playing Pokemon. So here we are, double hit of Argonaut. Um, I don't have any intention of really playing any of their other games, though. I feel like, yeah, I did a good job of Croft, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, these licensed games are interesting because, especially this game, where they didn't have a crazy amount of source material, but it was pretty on point. It's pretty, like, you know, you got the, the visual aesthetic, which I think is probably the best part of the game. They got a good, fun um, art style to, to roll off. And, uh, as long as the draw distance isn't kicking in too high, which it's not too bad in platforming, but, uh, we'll get to some later bits and it's just like, yeah, okay, no, it's pretty, it's pretty close, it's pretty Find claustrophobic. The the time runs out. Why is he in my right ear? There you go, there's your money pot. These bonus rooms do remind me of, uh, various parts of Croc 1, but again, different devs, who knows, different, different people. Um, by the way, if, if someone's out there and you actually know how to, like, get into contact with, like, anyone who works on this game, legit, I would love to, like, have a chat and just, like, <laughs> I'd love to give him a word. I'm a turtle. Uh, and then this happens, by the way, you become a turtle for a couple of minutes. Hello, little turtle. Are you here to enter the annual village race? Me? Race? No. Sorry, I don't think so. Good, because if you had beaten me, then you would have won this snifty trophy. <laughs> don't show that trophy to Lando Norris. It's gonna smash it up. Hmm. Kronk's got another red idol. No doubt I'm gonna need it to get out of this ridiculous place. Well, why didn't you say so, Kronk? Let's go! Let's go. And suddenly, Check you are now speedy weedy. Very fast. Uh, there are a couple of coins on the path, so if I goof, I'm sorry. I think it's mostly good. I should <laughs> I didn't read my notes right, but they're all along the, the way. It's a pretty straightforward thing, but it does get, like, you know, 
I mean, it's a new mechanic. Kids are going to get absolutely thrown off by this. So if I had to judge as a young kid playing this game, um, it's definitely, uh, oh, oh. That's quite a climb. Oh my gosh, they, they did subtitles again. <laughs> they did the subtitles again. Wow. Um, oh, I was looking at my notes. I was really looking at my notes just then. Where right? yeah. are the royal carriers when you... <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, these licensed games are very curious. And I feel like I would love to... to to anyone who's really made like licensed games from that time some of them might be going on to do bigger things but um you know a lot of these games did you know they had uh at the very least decent sales i don't think this game particularly sold amazingly um but maybe it was all right i think i saw a figure somewhere that was like 430,000. i mean at the end of the day like for a game that's made that this quick it's probably not too bad There we go. We did it. We kicked his butt. He's very sad. His biceps are screaming. Oh, gee, I didn't do too well. Here, you can have the trophy. Oh. Patrick Walden is one of those, like, voice actor crushes. I, Check like, point. oh. I, I wish I knew more people who had a voice as wonderfully deep as he, uh, as he does, because I swear, it's so, it's so good. Um, hey, someone's going to mention that Patrick Warburton and John Goodman were also in the movie together. But was David Spade in it? The Wampy is hiding Wampy. under that gap, <laughs> like behind that last drop, so... Um, so yeah, I'd say just make sure you have 50 coins before you complete the race, or 48 before you do the race, because before you become a turtle. Because yeah, you can't backtrack, but the levels aren't like crazy long, because like this is this level. We've got the Wampy, we've got 55 coins. We're out of here. We're done. Um, so that's, that's good, that's that. Um, and that's already three levels done. This game has 30 levels. I'm gonna try and do the first five worlds, which is 17 levels, and then the remaining 13 will be on the second stream. But I do find those back 13 to be a little longer. But some of them, some of them are also horrendously short levels, so who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, these, yeah, I, I'm always curious, like, what do they invent, what do they not invent? Um, in this game... One, uh, we have a, a stealth section here, but also there's a boss fight with Yzma at the end, and it's like, when does Yzma ever fight Kuzco in the film apart from the very end? If you want to get out of the village, you'll have to try to follow my dad. Okay, kid, I'm listening. What do I have to do? Keep close to him, but don't let him see you. If he spots you, you'll find yourself in the nearest llama pen. Llama pen. Stand back, kid. When I oh sneak, gosh. I become invisible. Kuzco, what are you doing here? I told you to wait by my hut. As if. I'm the emperor and I'll go where I want. <laughs> Kid in the back. I mean it. Stay here in the village. The jungle is far too dangerous. There are scorpions, jaguars, and spiders. Hmm. Another, another Argonaut game involving like massive me. spiders. Look, just wait here. If you try and follow me, there'll be trouble. Whatever, Lumpy. Oh, also, Cusco keeps commenting on his weight huh? all the time. But, uh, yeah, that's a little secret here. Just cash. This always gets people when they do the level. And they're like, oh, where's all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> that's all the coins over there. Um, but yeah, I would really love to know, like, what does it take to, like, game dev a licensed game from this time because yeah they're definitely they're reusing tooling this uh -huh. game feels like the same engine as croc 2 it's got that you know that draw distance kind of you know kind of thing going on uh -huh. um it's got the same uh music uh well, the same music it's got the same uh, composer uh -huh. can't see me i'm invisible this is the only stealth section in the whole game uh -huh. It's, it's a bit of a slog. A little bit. 
I saw one review that was like, oh. yeah, you remember this part from Spyro 2? I'm glad we're doing it again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fair call. Huh? Yeah. Um... But I think, oh. yeah, like, you know, it, it's fine for the one level. I wouldn't exactly, like, scream out to do it again. Huh? Um, before I played this game again, I actually couldn't remember so many of the levels. Huh? I could, like... You know, I could remember the beginning few levels quite quite well, but then the moment it's like, yeah, do you remember uh -huh. how, like, any of the city levels are laid out? And I'm like, nah, not really. Not really. Um, and as much as I'm like, you know, these guys uh -huh. poured their hearts and soul into making a video game in a, you know, out in time for the film, um, but I would also say that, like, it's... Uh -huh weirdly a little uninspiring. I don't know. It could be this draw distance and it could be how weirdly abstract all these levels are. Like again, you know, I guess there's houses here. This is more of a real location than maybe some other parts of the game. But it's like, this is like just some bizarrely abstract cliffside and then there's just a couple of houses here. And Pachi keeps turning around every two seconds. Huh? And then he's just gone. He's just in a house at that point. So watch out, there's a door here, but no, 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 I gotta go, crack the wall. Uh, gold coins are worth five. Uh, there are, very disappointingly, especially for a game that came out in 2000, there are 1,995 coins in the game. They are off by five. Um, am I missing a coin somewhere? Oh, there's like a coin... There. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. And there you go, that's everything in the first world. Ah! Ah! Kuzco! Let's see how you cope with my bomb potions. Right? Also, she's got bomb potions. I know. They won't turn you into a bomb. They'll kill you, and you'll be dead, dead, dead. Dude, I miss her. Checkpoint! Alright, you ready for the hardest boss fight in the whole game? Uh. Just like let her throw Love. stuff onto the four platforms and the door opens and that's it and you did it. You call yourself an end of level boss, Isma? You're rubbish. Toodles! And he just goes into the jungle. <laughs> Never to be seen again. And that's it. That's the whole tutorial of the game. The first four levels. The whole first world of the game. So, there we go. Nice and easy. I hope you're all tucked in. Away we go to the jungle night. So immediately, I, I immediately after the previous full motion video where Kuzco is like, I'll go back to the palace and these men will change me back. Th we're just in the scene. Kuzco is now in the jungle. We had half an hour of game just to tutorialize what didn't happen at all in the film. The film just went. Now, I just want to note, right at, right at the end of the scene, you're going to note Cusco falls for like two frames. Oh, okay. You can't see it. But he, he, he falls through some leaves or something like that. Fall, falls through some vines. I, I want to note where that full motion video ends because literally in two levels time, it will just continue on from there. So... The jungle night levels offer a bit of a different change of pace. This time, you got less people, you know, hand-holding you. I think I can talk a bit more without having to get stopped by dialogue. Um, I like the way the water uh, bounces off the... Well, sort of bounces off the ground. Yeah, it's fine enough for what it is. Yeah. You saw in the full motion video, there was one fly, it said help me. Also, it was an animal that said help. Yeah, okay. I'm glad that this fly knows exactly how llamas defeat spiders. That was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. And yeah, that's that thing where, like, you, you kind of expand the tongue, your tongue in the back of your throat, and then it's like, Then you can do it! 
Good find us. It's, it's like that. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, so oh, there's, there's a spider. You roll into him, jump kick him. Uh, the spiders show up a fair bit in the game, and I don't mind like different enemies requiring to be defeated in different ways. I just wish that there were more enemies that need to be defeated in different ways. You got the guards where you jump attack them, and then the beetles can just be defeated in any way. But most of, most enemies are either they're moving, and it's kind of annoying to jump attack them. Or they do stuff like that, where it's like they're resilient to the jump attack. So, yeah, very interesting there. Uh, note that there is a random... That is apparently a secret. That is probably one of the most annoying secrets to just, like, discover for the first time. Because it's... I don't know, it's, it's just a... Just a weird gap in the, in the... In the leaves? You can barely see that. Oh, he's my wampy. But there's a wampy in here, so... I don't know, means something. It's nearly as hard to find your way out. Um, past this weird little landmark, I'm pretty sure there's like one more spider. Okay. Maybe it's the next area. Uh, different levels have different amounts of coins, uh, even though the first four levels all had 55. Uh, a lot of the later levels will have 100, but then they start going all over the place. Uh, the squirrel appears uh, in two scenes. Three scenes, I guess. The end of the film Checkpoint. technically counts as a scene. Um, Cusco antagonizes it for a moment in one scene. And then uh, it proceeds to be a plot device for the villains to somehow find Cusco. Just magically. Oh, and Cusco cannot touch water in any way. So, But don't worry. Every pot seems to keep leaking health the moment you've taken a hit, so... Uh, this is an introduction to the, uh, puzzle of the game. There's gonna be times when it's like you just lift things on top of things and it just activates. Whether it's putting a statue on a head, or something a little more complex. Like this! This guy's got balloons, and, uh, you don't want to go near the spiky trees to leave the balloons, but... Um, actually, there, there is a second balloon sequence in the next level. There is that. Um, and yeah, you deliver him over to this, this flying raft. Like, this doesn't happen in the film. Nope. Oh, he stole it back. He stole it back. I remember this being a lot harder as a young kid. But, yeah, nah. As a hopefully fully formed adult, yeah, no, this is, a uh, rather easy. Um, but yeah, I would like to make note of, uh, how much dialogue, I guess, has happened in this game, but, um, I don't know, what, what has your opinion on the dialogue been so far, uh, you as a viewer, and, uh, or, or if anything, if you played this game as a young kid, how have you found the dialogue, just in general? Uh, because I want to note, there's, uh, there's some new game, I mentioned it, uh, earlier, and I cannot remember the name, and it doesn't appear on my Steam new and trending, so I don't know what it is. Um, I've got a person who's got it on their wish list, but they also have 1500 games on their wish list, and that's going to be a bit of a slog to find through. So I'll just say that there is a clip from. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> kids go. Sorry, man. Okay. Cutting the red not good enough for you. So, yeah, yeah, what are you yeah, going to yeah. tell me then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay then. <laughs> guards with red helmets carry red idols. Defeat the guard to collect the red idol. No problem. I'll just hang around here then. I think those are the only two flies in this level, anyways. Uh, well, one, because the level ends immediately after the scarred. We've got the Wampy, we've got the Red Idol, we're out of here, see ya. Um, this, uh, yeah, this Jungle Knight section is not that long at the end of the day. Um, it consists of only three levels, and the third level is uh, a very special level. So they've kind of chucked all their ideas into this level. This is Jungle Knight Chapter 2, this, uh... I mean, you know, this is where boys become men. You, you think you, you're all good, you're hot shot, 
and suddenly 70 coins that's more than every other level uh but uh, you know it it's a bit more evolved of the level and i think this is perhaps i did enjoy this as a kid and i kind of like this idea of the levels getting larger and larger so whoever decided that at argonaut good job good job can i just note the music they're all filled with like these uh you know, sort of, sort of tango beats. He's done that kind of style in Croc before, but it is like, it's kind of nice just having a whole like soundtrack full full of these very light but sort of groovy tracks. Uh, you're going to notice the camera getting stuck on things quite a fair bit. Um, if anything, isn't it weird that unlike Croc, it's not tank controls. It controls fine. So, uh, we'll continue on, uh, through this area, but, uh, the- I have a method to my madness of the 70 coins, so we'll get there. I like this, like, just dead end back there. Uh, this door means something later. <laughs> I think as a kid as well, it's like trying to like dissect like what am I looking at here? Okay, we got a double red idle door, which is indeed the end of the level. Uh, well, or at least almost leads to the end of the level. Oh, come on, God. There you go. Baby. So, the key thing to note here is that there is a statue over there who's spitting out water. We need to now take this statue head. That's throwing me off as a kid, being able to transfer items between scenes. That, that seems so weird to me. Um, and you can take that into the next, the next scene. Uh, we now need to rebuild the statue. Uh, it only, the only part that you had to bring from the other room was just the head. The other two parts are already here. Uh, make sure you have 20 coins at this point. Um, there may have been a spider that would have beelined across, but I've ignored that spider and we'll get it later. Um, I sort of like how the enemies don't respawn. Like, just you take them out once and that's it. Um, but it does also feel that, like, you know, some levels don't have too many level, uh, enemies. But yeah. Um, so anyway, I would like to note that one game uh, that just came out. There was a Vine Source Vinny clip. Uh, we transferred the water, by the way. There was a Vine Source Vinny clip of him. It's like 15 seconds long. Uh, if you're looking for it, look for a post around June 20th, 2023. That was when the post was and it'll probably stay up on twitter.com oh sorry i mean x.com because elon musk thanks elon it's not even like the game xcom it's just, i don't know why he's done this what is is they're not going to be x posts because that just looks like cross posts ha! one rock's not enough to break my new bike i hope you uh you you know, memorize that line, because every time you throw one rock in front of him, this would always throw me off as a kid. I'd be like, oh, I'll put a rock in front of him. Ha! One rock's not enough to break my new butt. What do you mean? That was another rock! I would always, like, complain like that, and it took me, like... You know, we'll just say too long for me to realize. Put a rock in the way, put another rock on top. There's enough, like, snap points for the rocks, and then you just... <laughs> You've breaks his neck by running into again. two rocks. Just you wait until next time. I must be a bad llama. <laughs> also, isn't this weird? It's the third time those guys appeared. Oh yeah. Like Patra only appeared twice, or in two levels rather, I think. Um, but that's one red idol. Uh. The way this level works is that there's effectively just like a fork, and then you need both forks in order to, you know, open the door. So, uh, going in here is just for one of those red idols, and we've got that, so now we'll head the other way. Well, we'll now deal with this spider. There you go. Um, but yeah, in this clip, uh, Vinny was playing uh, this brand new game, which I cannot remember, but it came out just about the same time, so... Yeah, it's fairly recent. It's like a week old. Uh, in this game, uh, it's an indie game. I think it's priced around like 36 bucks Australian, so maybe like 25 US, maybe. Uh, you take photos, or at least you have photos of things, and uh, you can kind of hold the photo up in space, rotate it uh, in front of you, and then at some point you just kind of do a Check thing. Point. You snap your fingers uh, or something, and the object in the photo effectively materializes Lava in the actual through. scene properly perspective you know 
you know, catered for what you were doing. Um, and the effect seems decently cool. Um, sort of reminds me of a super liminal, where it's like you you pick up objects and then you kind of like move them up into the sky, and they are uh, you know they're actually much larger now. Um, it sort of reminds me of that. Um, I don't really know much about the game, but the moment Vinny did this one thing secret, by the way, here, just okay. There are no coins in the secret. <sighs> there are no coins in the secret. It's just like. It's just a lot of jumps. Oh my gosh. I, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I feel like that, like, one blue part of the, the ledge. Are you telling me these are not the same level designers? Because they had a huge fascination with swinging platforms in Croc 2, I swear. It's not really a rhyme or reason with these platforms and as you can see above there's also no reason why they're even there like they're just hanging oh, from space this is what i mean about the claustrophobia it's like this is just like a little tiny hallway why why on earth are there things hanging from the sky and the draw distance is like i can i i can't see the end of the room from here oh, maybe from here okay sure but still um so at the moment Vinny solved this one puzzle, a, a narrator came on, or maybe a person in the back, and they said, they were like, oh my god, did you just like really just materialize that object with your mind? And Vinny just immediately Aww. switches, like turns the volume down. He just turns the voice volume all the way down, and that's the clip, 15 seconds, there you go. Now it's hilarious, because I think... A lot of people have played a game, also, is this not Flounder from The Little Mermaid? There's no, there are no big purple fish in the film. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure I don't remember seeing one. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Not quite, not quite. Um, I'm pretty sure we've all played a game where it's like, the dialogue has gotten obnoxious. Um, and if you haven't, you'll get there. You'll, you'll, you'll have a moment. Oh, really? I did not have this much trouble earlier this week doing this. And it's gonna go all the way over. Um, but I think that this is a hilarious kind of like point because it's, uh, you know... I think it's something that, like, we've all sort of felt, but then it's also like, I paid money for my game and I, I feel like I'm going to be missing out on content or, or some kind of explanation that actually may be useful, but I have to endure this person saying, like, wow, did you just do, like, the crazy thing? And it's like, I just clicked a button. It wasn't even, like, a sound effect or anything. It was just, it, I just clicked a button. That is the intentional way to solve a puzzle. Like... I'm not getting endorphins in my brain for solving something hard. That is just the tutorial. Please, you know, cut me a break. Um, I think uh, some people will uh, relate this to Portal. Because Portal had a similar um, approach to dialogue. I would say approach. But the important thing is that Portal most likely demeaned you. And it was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Or something like that. Um, you'd have dialogue also when you enter a level, um, or enter an area, or, I don't think you get, no, you don't get any dialogue when you're taking too long. Portal 1, we're just noting Portal 1 for the moment. Um, but after, yeah, like, after a while it's like, you know, the demeanor changes and suddenly it's like, you know, you are now ruining, I was gonna say Shodan, you're ruining, uh, GLaDOS's um, you know, intentions by breaking out of the simulation and that kind of stuff. Um, this is a mechanic that is only used in this room. You shoot the spider and he freezes. I'm pretty sure there was a Croc 2 mechanic involving this. It's a really slow platform. Wow. <laughs> um, fortunately, you gotta, you gotta kill this guy the old fashioned way afterwards. Um... But I'm pretty sure the next room just forgets this is a mechanic, and so does the rest of the game. Let's have a look. That's a 
pretty neat mechanical. I like it. Ah, it just drops in front of you. Um, so, like, I don't know. It, I don't feel it with Portal 1. Portal 2, I do get it. And I do think that uh, one criticism I saw of Portal 2 at the time it came out, by the way, I'm not trying to be like a contrarian or a, one of those guys who's like, yeah, I always knew it was bad, but like, I super duper loved it. Um, but I did feel, and I saw this at the time, Portal 2, is, Portal was described as a great puzzle game with some nifty dialogue sprinkled throughout it. Portal 2 is a great story with some nifty puzzle sequences <laughs> sprinkled throughout it. I think that's a great way to describe it, because Portal 2 has a bunch of moments when you're walking through a corridor, yeah. or someone is espousing dialogue to you and you've sort of got to sit there. There is no moment in Portal 1 where I ever feel that I have to wait. There is always a puzzle, and the moment I finish that puzzle and I walk into the very next room, there is another challenge awaiting for me. Portal 2 has a couple of just like, yeah, I get it, Wheatley. Oh, We're going through the inner workings of the facility and you're giving me the plot and you're gonna try and hack the door. Like, there's, there's stuff like that. There is... There is stuff like that all throughout Portal 2. And Portal 2 got unanimous praise at the time that it came out. But I do think, and I mean really crazy unanimous praise, which is... That was the start of me going, mm, I don't 100% to get the reviews. Now, that is not to say Portal 2 is not worth playing. Portal 2 has a lot of great moments. It, uh, I think especially, you know, the average person discovering that ending. Or even discovering a lot of things throughout the game. It's great. It feels super great. Um, but I would definitely say the dialogue does hinder the game on repeat playthroughs. It starts to get a bit annoying and a bit in the way. Um, until you get J.K. Simmons and then it's, it's great again. Everyone loves it. Um, but I, I'd sort of say that. Um, someone's going to say it's sacrilege. I'm ripping on Portal 2. But uh, that's 70 coins, by the way. And standing on here suddenly... Oh, no, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, only one secret, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, chapter... Th also, yes, this is the full motion video that continues two seconds from the last full motion video. I saw, I feel like, I again, if, if this is blurred and muted for YouTube, I apologize. But, uh, if you ever play this game, I want to say the music is not quite the same as it is in the final film. It is definitely, I think most of the vocal performances and definitely the animation, it's it's fine. Although, isn't it weird that there's no subtitles? I'd always love for there to be subtitles. Um, by the way, did you remember that the Harry Potter game didn't have any full motion video? Nothing from the film. Very interesting move. Maybe Warner Brothers has a different policy. Uh, we got 40 coins and this is probably uh, the worst level in the game. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know. The concept is neat. Uh, again, with the the kind of bizarre space, there's like nothing on the right side because the cameras only come from one perspective. Oh, I'm out. This looks like a serious situation. Okay. In order to save me, you're gonna have to quickly tap those buttons while steering me around obstacles. Didn't I play this kind of game in the 80s? Okay, let's go. So, the way this level worked, and you're gonna see me intentionally die because uh, trying to get these coins, like, every time is kind of annoying. Uh, but the way that you beat this level is you've got to mash square while steering Cusco. Uh, he will auto-jump, so if you ever played this game and you try jumping at the same time, don't worry about that. Um, but it is, like, there. It's very hard to, like, perfectly line up with the coins, because you're going diagonally. It's a bit, it's a little bit funky. And on top of that, like, you are heading up and down to steer left and right, but not right to go more right. It's like, I don't know, it's a little odd. Um, so I'm gonna die just to restart and get coins. Um, there, there's nothing hidden, it's just sometimes... You know, you might miss one, and then it's like, ugh. Like that one. And I'm just like, eh, you know, might as well restart. Uh, 
There's a couple of levels that are similar in structure like this, but nothing that's actually like mashing the square button. And in every single one of them, it doesn't matter if you die, you don't lose health. So don't worry about actually dying if you want to get the coins. Uh, for reference with the coins, by the way, uh, it's like Banjo Kazooie. You got to get every single one of them in one go. Oh my! F my arm is dying. My arm is dying already. Oh, get, get it. Let's get out of this level as soon as I can, because yeah, like this goes for like a minute. This is a long button button mash. Oh, he's my wifey. Oh. The worst part is there's some coins right at the end, and you know this is going to be like a pain to make sure I'm lined up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, and this scene in the movie is like 15 seconds, and then we're back to this part where Patcher saves Kuzco at the end of the the Jaguar sequence. They're also black. Are Jaguars black? I would imagine they're like Panthers. Also, this is the end of the world, by the way. We're done with the jungle night. It comes and it goes. It's fairly quick, but sure. And then they tie themselves onto a tree branch. It's like a whole log that's sideways. And then they do a bit of the... I'm pretty sure this is just like a 3D like model that they have of it rotating down. Maybe they animate the faces in rotoscope, but it's too much rotation of a static object to, that you don't want to get, you know. You can use a 3D model. Cheap out. Well, it's not even cheap because it's like, eh, it does the effect. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people in the quote tweets who are either like, yeah, justified, like that kind of stuff. And a lot of people who are like, what would you, like, so many people, like, you know, I need this dialogue, otherwise it would be boring. Or, like, what would you prefer, no dialogue? And people are like, yes. It's like, just give people the option to have it. Like, that kind of stuff. Um, I, I do side on the, on the, uh, the side of, stop patronizing me games. I've not played this game, so I'm not gonna claim that it rep, this represents the rest of the game, but... Given that it happened so early, I can understand muting the game because of that one line. Because I've played enough games where that one line is representative of the whole game. The, the problem is more that we've had terrible writing in various indie games. And I think games need to, like, know when to shut up. Like, I, I don't know. That, this sounds harsh. It sounds crazy harsh. But you know what I mean? It's like... Sometimes there's games that go too much, and and and, and it's like, ah, oh, you could have put that effort somewhere else. Like, please. Um. Oh shucks! Not another llama tied to a log. Hmm. And I thought I was unique. The head is like twice as big as Patches, apparently. We had one pass by here last week. He told me that he's scared by pressing the direction button left and right. What's your direction button? Press down to make you slow down. Slow down. Press up to go faster. Keep away from the animals, except the red monkeys. Their bananas will boost your health. Mmm, bananas. Oh, it's out of my left ear. Ah, that's such an obvious plot device. And that piece of ground isn't rendering. Um, so welcome to the river level. It plays like this for the next 30 minutes of the game. Or shorter. It could be shorter. Probably is shorter as well. Uh, your goal is you can't really go backwards, so if you miss coins, good luck, because uh, you can't exactly quit the level. I mean, I've been saving between levels, so I guess it's that. Um, but yeah, I, I, there is going to be a moment where it's like, oh boy, I'm going to miss coins. Uh, I've written down this 13 before the first waterfall, so... Ow. They're all along the way, at least, but sure. Uh, the rotation of your character Slow is... Down there, Speedy. We want to see the next level two, you know? It's very arbitrary. Thanks, Kuzco, for telling me off. Um, 
The music's a bit of a jam, though. Um, but yeah, I, I like. I am of the opinion I've played too many games with bad dialogue that I just wanted to like stop. I wanted to be like done, you know, one and done. Um, and I also feel like in general, like this, the problem. It's like, I don't want, like, hey, it, it, people will, will cite Forspoken yeah, as a similar, a, as a similar example. Um, but yeah, the, the problem is, are oh, you going to give me a tutorial while you're up there? Nope, you're just going to stand there. Oh, cool. Oh, don't worry about anything else. If it's not in the water, it doesn't count. Uh, there's only four coins until the next, uh, thing I wrote Ow. down. Hey, Steve? Ah, yes. Yes. I wrote down all the way to the Wompy. No. There is a Wompy, and this is a very dog annoying Wompy. Also, these are turtles, I swear. Ah, that's um, okay, so yeah, it's around the U bend, and then uh, there's gonna be a fork in the road where it's like you can go left or right. You need to stay right on this. Oops. I missed the Wompy. I missed the Wompy. <laughs> Did I really miss the Wompy, or is it? No, the Wompy's after oh, this, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the Wompy's there. Yeah, the Wompy's it's there. What am I on? Wompy. Yeah. I was like, I didn't, I didn't remember going through a fork yet. Oh. And the problem is, I've written down <laughs> wing the rest of the level. Because it's just like there. You can go slow, so you can make it fairly, fairly comfy to get the the coins. But one, you know, sometimes the camera's like this. Oh yeah. And something makes you go fast anyways. And these crocodiles are also kind of annoying when you're slower than them because they come out. They're gonna come out. Look at that spinning log. It's going for it. Um. But yeah, I think the, the worst Maybe. part is, like, when people say, like, oh. uh, wow. how do I phrase That's it? Better. The problem with that line of dialogue in particular is that solving the puzzle, especially a tutorial puzzle, is mundane. It might be tricky on a first playthrough, but it shouldn't be, oh. like, crazy impressive, whoa, like that kind of stuff. Oh. Especially when you don't combine it with fancy effects, oh, yeah. sounds, visuals, etc. When it's just you do the thing that you're gonna do for the rest of the game, you know. Yum yum. You gotta you gotta just play it straight. Ow. Level just ends there, by the way. So, okay, cool, cool. That's one of the levels. No, no, no qualms. We've done it fine. It's 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 okay for the moment. Uh. <laughs> This, this shot is probably directly from the full motion video for that one moment, because there's the pebbles in frame. This is the only overhead shot of the river anyways. Got 55 coins, so we're back to World 1 levels. Haven't you ever been tied to a log? Yep, jump again and again to escape from a wild boar. I thought this was the easy level. Kind of short for a llama, aren't you? Yeah, okay. So yeah, so we got a new mechanic where there's some world pulls, but you just kind of mash X and then you don't bother. Uh, nice, nice. I'm glad, I'm glad that happened immediately. I'm loading a save. <laughs> I'm loading a save. That I was like, this this has to happen. I wrote it down. Done. We're going for the coins. I need to get the coins. The, this will be the worst world, by the way, for, for trying to get the coins. Um, I wrote it in all caps as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I wish games wouldn't be like so patronizing because it does get like... Like, I don't feel smart for doing the tutorial puzzles, necessarily. Um, I feel smart when it's like, 
oh, it's, you know, like, something very, very tricky. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a tutorial puzzle. Um, sorry, it, it was like, oh, we didn't do the hand-holding kind of stuff, but... I don't know, I feel like games shouldn't be too patronizing. Just be like, yeah, you did it, cool. Let's move on. Like, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, Wampy's in the right here, so there you go. Oh, also, Rip Wampy. My Continues. You see what I mean? They're all just gone. Ooh, going a bit quick. Uh, I think I wrote down just, like, coins. Just follow the trail and go slow. And then you'll end up at 28. Yeah, okay. Speedy. We want I'm next holding speed. down. He keeps just hitting all the boosts. Ah. Um, but yeah, I would love. I still, I still say I would love to like dev my own indie game just so I've got like a much better perspective of this. But I do feel like, mm, you know, I I don't want to do a puzzle game with like a, just some side character like talking to you. I feel like Portal has a specific recipe. This is like if you, you know, you taste like, uh, what's a good, like, meal? Ow. It's like a shepherd's pie. Yum, yum. And then everyone's making cottage pie instead because, they, you know, you change one bit and it ain't shepherd's pie anymore. It's cottage pie. You use fish. Hey, have you tried pulling back yet? You know what there we go. Yeah. I wrote down follow the trail again, yeah, which is not a very, you know, descriptive note. Uh, all the way up to 50 coins. I'm not too sure what that guy's said about, like, caves hold secrets. Maybe he meant it in the mountain level. That's in the fifth world. I mean, we're on to the third world already, so... Yeah. Um... But yeah, I, I hope that the reputation of this game isn't, like, completely slandered because of the one tweet. But I would definitely say, yeah, people are finding, you know, the dialogue is cringe. And, uh, hey, you know, if you're a person who absolutely loathes cringe dialogue, please make your voice heard. <laughs> like, like, we need games to stop doing that. Um, I feel like there's too many modern games that are just, like, lowest common denominator writing and it's terrible. Um, so I, don't know. I don't know, we'll go with that. Did I play a game recently that's kind of like that? Hmm, not really. I've been playing too many silent protagonist games. They do say a lot in this game, but I don't know, it's a film tie-in. And uh, the main character definitely said a lot in the, in the, uh, in the film, so... Yeah. Uh... So I played uh, two games this week. Uh, I guess one was yeah, Croc, man. which I will do a brief, just kind of. Yeah, I did, a, I did a let's play of it ages ago. Not two ages ago, not as long ago as I played this game. Um, but I don't really have a, a desire to play it again, and I think it's because it's a little sloppy at times. It's just like there's bits where it's like this level Ow. is not fun. There's just like this down, this nice jump baby. is too, time. you know. Yum, yum. This jump is too close to, um, you know, this thing. Oh, hello. Well done! You've made it this far! This scene was much shorter in the film. This is line of the game. This is the line of the game. Beyond the next waterfall are the alligator hunting grounds. Ooh, goody! Can we buy camera film there? I'm all out. We'll get some snapshots. <laughs> line number two. <laughs> If they surround you, press the action button to spit at them. If you're lucky, you'll scare them away. Do we look like we feel lucky? Here's my emergency supply of grapes to help you. Go for it! Go for it! Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then, uh, this just happens. These crocodiles come at you and you're just going for it. <laughs> okay. Croc had a shooting gallery level, didn't it? Not the first game. Pretty sure the second one had it. I'm gonna try my best to not get hit, but sometimes they spawn so far away, and then sometimes they spawn so close while they've spawned so far away. 
This is literally a wait of time. Did you like, by the way, how before the waterfall I had 50 seeds and now I have infinite seeds? But you can't really shoot them that fast, though. So. Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. No hits. This one, I swear. Oh, there we go. That was good stuff. That was good. Nice. Uh, okay, I think you gotta like lean all the way over here. This is technically not Rapids River, but it still is pushing you forward. Like you're seeing how kinda hard it is to lean back, but it is possible. So there you go. There's two coins, one left, one right, and then you're gonna have to go just slow enough just to make sure you get these. And then you're good. There you go. Two levels. Two levels. Uh, this, I swear that is like the, the still. It's got border at the top and bottom, right? That's just there in the game. I don't know why. They just take the, 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 the frame and then we're just like, oh, whoops, we have the, have the writing on the ends. Whoops. Uh, this level is a one gimmick level, but, uh, I'm gonna hope I get this, because it is a bit of a doozy. because uh, we've got a race level. And of course, who do we race? None other than that kid, that kid, that darn kid, but you know what? Hey, let's milk the character we've got. Yeah, it's tubular. Hmm. <laughs> Want to race, or are you too tied up? <laughs> You'll go far, kid. If you can beat me to the next waterfall, the barrier will be open, and you can carry on to the next section. We've escaped giant spiders, wild jaguars, killer turtles, and logs. Now we have to race a kid in a yellow blow-up llama. Let's go! Okay, here we go. This kid holds no punches. He's definitely a bit tricky. I, I will say, I commented on the draw distance being kind of bad, but it's not horrendous here. It's like right on the border of being horrendous, but not quite. But it is kind of annoying to have to, like, follow this. We go left. Oh, dang it. I wrote down we go left and then we go right at the next four. If the kid beats me, I, you know, that's fine. You just start from the top again. So, yeah, if you miss any coins, by the way, don't restart this level. Just, you know, make sure you have another crack. There we go. Hard right. Kid doesn't really slow down though. Yeah, that's a secret apparently. Okay, Did you like see? that secret? Did I write down anything else for lean right in the cave? Uh, oh, wait, hold on. What did I say? I, I wrote down one thing. Tight coin on the left and then lean right. Ah, oh, because this coin's on the other side. Okay, well, well, I guess we'll just lose this race and then have another crack. There's only 25 coins in this level as well, it's not a particularly long coin level, but it's because this is it, this is the level. Yeah. But yeah, to, to go back to this game uh, for, for a bit, because I've been commenting on other games, um, yeah, I'm starting to feel that draw distance really kick in. Um, but definitely, like, even though there are four levels in this river i do feel like um i don't know i prefer the games that sprinkle its mechanics sparingly i think we go left here don't we yeah you do okay just make sure i'm at oh yeah right on the third floor yeah let this kid beat me it's too many boosts so it's like oh okay now you can catch up There he goes. Oh no, he beat me. 
Ugh. Oh, losers. You gotta start again. You stop paddling, Cusco. I've got a hoof egg. Come nice. on, race me again. Cha. <laughs> okay. Away we go. This time, once more, with, with, with more gusto. It's kind of interesting as well. It's like you don't have to deal with whirlpools or really any damage. Nothing can deal damage in this level, I think. Um... But yeah, I, I sort of have this feeling where like, yeah, if a game is like, hey, you know, we've got this chapter and this chapter and stuff like that, I kind of feel um, the games I prefer are the ones that keep sprinkling the mechanics more through. Um, another game, and I've played it before, uh, and, and it came out around this time, is Rayman 2. And I think that game is a perfect example of how you sprinkle the mechanics in a way that feels fresh and fun every time. It doesn't spend too long on anything. Uh, sometimes some of the mechanics do only appear once, but in general it's like, there's a callback later in the game that's like, this makes the mechanic feel that layer more meaningful. Um, whereas here it's like, okay, so I'm spinning around on a log, and it's gotta keep doing this like, middle of the game difficulty on me. Um, you know, it can't be that hard. Oh yeah. All the coins are before then, so that's your ultimate test. So it would be left, right, right, left at the four forks in the level. There you go. Okay, at least I didn't have to restart the level. So, we got that. Hold on, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's effectively counting as a restart. Um, again, visually, like, hey, I like the water texture here. You know, even if it's simple as. It's like, ah, oh, you know, it's a fun texture. Uh, there is boosting on the other side. Oh my gosh, the one thing that can hurt you on this level. Listen, he can't pass me. I'm too big. I'm too big. Too fast. Too furious. There you go. First try. And then that kid super died. Here you go. And that, yeah, that's the third level. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, movie still preview. I miss the... Uh, how does it feel that that is 10 of the 30 levels in the game already? I've still got, still got another 7 for the stream. <laughs> Don't worry, I've still got a bit more. Uh, but granted, this level is crazy short. I have zero tips. I have zero tips for this level other than just making sure that you get the wampy. <laughs> Having problems over there? Who's the fox? It's Yzma again, and she looks mad. She has that down to a fine art. It's time to do away with the both of you. My potions should take care of you, you useless lungs. Oh. It's okay. I have demon llama spit. We're not going to acknowledge how Kuzco seems to have perfect aim. So, this just happens. You remember she had bombs before. Uh, you can actually, uh, sh yeah, destroy this wall. I think it takes either three or five. We'll count it. We'll count it as we go. Um, three or five. Like, oh, oh my gosh, with that one. Also, she just keeps teleporting around. Okay, three is the answer. See, she keeps teleporting around. Alright, so all you gotta do is just make sure that you, you hit uh, the wompy ledge three times for it to break down. And then just keep shooting these inflatable animals until they hit the fence at the end. I think it takes like ten or so hits. But like, it's painfully easy because, again, you've got infinite spit. And these inflatables will just casually gravitate towards there, like... They're just, they're just gonna go. And that's it. That's, that's the boss. Crank! I need some help! Crank! And then just run! Oh, I love it! Oh. 
But one, where is this door? Ooh, sure glad that's over. She'll be back. I've seen it in the script. Also, who put these Yzma faces on the walls? In the rock faces? What's going on here? Who did this? So, okay, so I've written down there are 40 coins in this level. 17 are before the waterfall. Swampy. So I think, yeah, we'll see those three. That's... But, unfortunately, this is going to be the most obnoxious oh, yeah, part. Because there are 23 coins, yeah. and you're constantly being pushed forward here. So, you're going to have to try your best. Just dart to the other side the moment you've got the coin. There you go. I, you can tell. You can tell I've done this before recently. Uh, but yeah, just hold down, go towards the direction, and then immediately dart once you hear that coin noise. Uh, also, uh, yeah, they eventually, <laughs> they eventually uh, crash at the bottom of one waterfall, one very big one, and that was the, the scene again. We've only progressed 10 minutes in the film, by the way. Uh, <laughs> in like an hour and a half of gameplay. Maybe longer, depending on how, you, how long it took you as a kid. There's a lot of uh, film artifacts going on in this, by the way. You noticing, noticing that? There's a lot of, like, noisiness. If you've ever... I'm pretty sure the film is actually on Blu-ray. If you've actually seen it on Blu-ray or Disney+, Plus, you'll see how incredibly, like, crisp they've remastered it all. I think that's fine, given how flat the, the shading is in this film. But it's like, how noisy is it on, on this PS1 version? You know? It's like, oh my gosh. Jeez. Um, again, here's the still. I swear this does not appear in the film. This is probably just very well, you know, finished... Uh, background art that maybe they never used or something like that. Uh, so at this point we start returning to a little bit of normalcy in the in the game. Uh, and perhaps uh, this may be people's favorite uh, levels. The three jungle day levels. Uh, we start getting more and more um, you know kind of adventurous with the actual charging mechanics. Also, I haven't seen that red beetle again, by the way. Morning, Cusco. Oh, it's you. Are you all right? You aimed me at those rocks on purpose. <sighs> at least we're back on dry land. That's right, we are. Now take me back to the city. City is all caps. That's how you know it's important. No way. Isma's guards will be everywhere. Okay, here's the plan. You stay here on that big old backside of yours, and I'll <laughs> so that deal Peter was with like, "Whoa, I'm not dealing with this." I'll just stay here and guard the fire. You could cook some food. You're probably hungry again anyway. Rip. Oof. Yeah, back on dry land. Back on actually controlling Cusco like a normal llama. Uh. Beetle and a bee. <laughs> yeah, these bees, they. Stick their butts in the ground and then they're dead forever. That's how bees work. Checkpoint. Pretty sure that was a beetle bouncing around here. There he is. <laughs> Caught me in the face. Nice. Llama coming through. Oh yeah. Oh. What is this, by the way? Is this lava? This is not lava, right? What is it meant to be? What is that meant to be, by the way? Is that like a creeper, like a jungle vine that's like there to like, you know, trick you up? That kind of stuff. Um, there we go. Oh yeah. Bunch of stuff there. Uh, Checkpoint. So I wrote down, uh, go right towards the kid. <laughs> the fly trap plant will eat anything, even grapefruit. This place They're not going to comment on the fact that the kids are just like on the dangerous better. river and, you know, in the jungle here. Nothing to, to survive. Uh, also, yeah, what is this? Who 
can put these in the game. Ooh, I hate Venus flytrap things. That is a very oh, fun yeah. royalty free sound effect though. <laughs> There you go, there it is again. Uh, so make sure you're at 24 and then 24 coins and then you can bolt out. B. Or is it a wasp? Who knows? Um, but I will say that, like, you know, I think they threw a lot of the, the good ideas and eggs in this level. Um, the river level, I don't know, man, like... You know, it's fun for a moment, and honestly, hey, if you're trying to find bits for a game, sure, I get it. But definitely, it's like, yeah, it, it doesn't quite control the best, and honestly, like, the second level is the first level, but I mash X sometimes, and then I do a race, and then I fought Yzma, and that was it. Like, okay. Checkpoint. Sure, I guess. I managed to get this far, but I the next section to get is this far. with guards. There were no guards, guards before, before this part of the level. It's all confined pathways. If they see you, they'll throw you out. They'll never see me. I'm too slick. You know, you got a point there. Okay. So, sure. um, this is a very liminal space room. It's just here to provide a bit of a checkpoint. But here we are with more, uh, you know, we played too much Ocarina of Time and we loved our guards in the hedge maze sections. Ocarina of Time did it once. For a moment. We don't have to put in every game. Um, that guard at the far end is always a pain. Okay, we go, we go. Checkpoint. Okay. Well, I know this guy goes down here. Throws me off every time. We're good, we're good, we're Check good. Point. Pick up there. And uh, then we got two coins on the far ends. If you got 43 by the end of this scene, you're doing it. You're doing it right. Don't worry, you don't have to go too far back. It's just like three parts. Oh. I would say the memories are flying back, flooding back, but I played it at the beginning of this week. Um, but yeah, no. I, I mentioned Croc. Croc is. If anyone hasn't played it, it's basically uh, Argonaut had an idea. For a uh, come on, uh, for a uh, for a Yoshi game, and they pitched it to Nintendo, and Nintendo were like, Nah, nah, not that, please. And uh, Argonaut thought it was such a good idea, they decided to um, make the main character a green crocodile as opposed to a green dinosaur, and uh, you know, turn it into Croc. So everything was kind of original. I like their um, their character design. They got a fun little art style, and it actually kind of works well for what they could do on the PlayStation. It's it's a neat game aesthetically. Um, it's got Check some quirkiness point. about it, but it's like, eh, it's, it's, it's neat. I like it. Um, where are we going? We are going here. You press that so that you can where, you circle all around these. Um, I'm probably gonna get caught at this point. Yep, okay. Press this button, you'll see it flip to something. Who knows? <laughs> this is definitely, like, one of the more trickier puzzles. Like, you'll get there. You'll get there eventually, because again, you know, not really a fail state, it's just the guard saw you and then that's it. Um, it's a very risky move, for sure. Uh, that guard is eternally turning between these two rooms, so that's okay. To the next bit. Checkpoint. Demon lover. <laughs> okay, they're both looking. Game. Why is it that they're both looking like fairly close? Okay, now that now they've alternated the pattern. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that's how the pattern was going. Sure. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, my biggest problem with Croc is that the level design is uh, a bit mixed. It's very, it's much more claustrophobic than this game, I'll tell you that. Like, at least this game has larger areas. Even if maybe there's a bit of draw distance, like you can still see that draw distance kicking in right now. It's like, oh, it's so close, but... Um, 
but yeah, it's given the tank controls, uh, how many like caves and kind of interior places uh, there are, um, or alternatively, it's like a. Uh, some people might yell at me for not sprinting. Uh, that is a secret, by the way. That just kind of weird little dead end. Oh, this is where the wampy is. Wampy. Um, but yeah, I don't actually hate it. It's it's got some neat things for what it is, and it's definitely got a fair number of levels. So that's fine. Um, seriously, it's like 36. That's a really high number of levels. I guess this game's got Check like 30 point. as well. So even though I'm clearing them off a bit quickly, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, Okay, so do I remember the pa the puzzle on this one? I'm pretty sure you hit both of these. Out of my way! This gives you the opportunity to uh, hit this button, and then you go back. You don't deal with that red one there. Yes, that guard does just look look me in the eye. It's kind of weird, it's like there's two doors that are similar color, but the different, the different switches. This gives me the straight line path onto the right side. You want to be on the right side just to get some coins. Actually, I think it gets all the coins. I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, there's one last coin over there. Um, but yeah, 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 Croc's alright. Um, just not amazing. I think the second game is fairly good and a little overlooked. But, it's not perfect, and it still has that quirkiness of the controls, and uh, it also has a, um, a Nabisco s sponsorship uh, on the PlayStation version, where they're the gummy, gummy candy donuts in the, in the PC version, but they're specifically lifesavers used for the platforms. I don't know, it's very egregious <laughs> kind of product placement, but sure, okay, okay. Uh, but it's got enough variety between all the levels in Croc 2. Croc 1, fairly straightforward. Uh, the one thing I guess Croc 2 doesn't have is swimming levels. Maybe that's for the better, because they didn't really control very well in Croc 1. Um, yeah, it's worth alright. The retro achievement set's kind of mm, here and there. It involves 100%ing each level, and then also doing the boss levels without getting hit, which is fair, and beating each level, other level, in a certain amount of time, except the amount of time they give you is horrendously short unless you speed up your emulator disk read time that's a level by the way we're done there's three jungle day levels so just for note on to the next one i think this next one's probably one of the larger ones but maybe it's also there's just more guards that you take out actually not the ones that just yell at you that you're a demon llama there's 95 coins, there's so many. <laughs> the kids, they're laughing at me because I'm taking too long. <laughs> this one's probably going to be an interesting one for me to write down like where everything is, so I hope I did it. I hope I did it right. Seriously, these fly throughs do go on for a fair bit. You could spit at these bees, or you could just oh, let them sing you, because it's not like anything in this game really, really deals that much damage. You're only ever going to take one hit at a time, and there's healing items. This game's too generous on the health, except for maybe a uh, part of this level in particular, where it's just like, I will actively ignore the healing. They give you enough seeds, because you know you're going to need to spit it at these guys eventually. Or just walk around them. Like a sane person. <laughs> Got a crocodile, he just drops five coins after attacking him. Like, sure, okay. Uh, here's just another random old man if you need some of those last minute Arrows tips. On the ground to point to secret areas, you know. This only applies twice. Maybe once. Beware Yzma's masked city guards. If you let them see you, you'll be in big trouble. A.K. you go back to the beginning of the section. If I had four balloons, I'd use them to get out of here. This applied to the two of the previous levels. Arrows. Look up at the big boy at the diner there. He sure is hungry. That just seems so weird out of context, doesn't it? Like, we haven't seen it yet, so... 
If you haven't played this game, you got no clue what he's talking about. Oh my gosh. Get to the end quickly to reach a secret. Where did all these talking flies come from? Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to get the Shut secret. Up. We're just going to go normally. Because the secret sends you back to the beginning anyways, but you have to do the secret at the end. Come on. There you go. It's a nice chill just trek though. Checkpoint. That is not a red beetle, that is a blue one. Oh, yeah. oh my Don't gosh. Okay, I am one hit away from death. I may burn a wampy, but... Wampies are so plentiful. Unless you haven't found one yet in the level you're in. Tasty. Someone's probably clenching their butt on that one. We're all good. We got it. We got it. Oh, look at that. I got three hits now. So this is the intended way to Check continue point. the level. Uh, this is another one of those like two idle doors, just go both ways kind of parts of the level. Um, but yeah. Uh, so the other game I played, and this one. Maybe a bit of a more interesting one to, to say. I don't think I talked about this one on stream, but I finished it. We 100%ed it. Um, Operation Tango. It's a 2021 uh, co-op game. An indie co-op game uh, where one person plays the agent and one person plays, like, the spy master operative. Uh, you can annihilate these kids, by the way. Uh... That was a pinata door, by the way, so... There you go. Okay. We gotta get to the end quick now. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a co-op game where, yeah, two people play the game, but don't look at each other's screens, and then they have to do verbal communication in order to, to get through the puzzles. Checkpoint. Um, it took three hours, me and a partner, to uh, get through uh, the game on the first try. I played as the spy master, and he played as the agent. Um, nice camera, by the way. Very nice. Um, this is a secret, by the way. It puts you up on this ledge with a gold coin, and you can hop down here. You can see that there's another exit over there, um, because uh, the other path goes to just the opposite ledge. But there's a coin on that one as well, so you kind of have to... Did you see that Zed fighting? Yeah, what? Look, why is the tops of the... Of that stump and that bridge stump, they disappear when the camera's in a weird direction. Come on, guys, come on. There's just some weird small bugs here and there in this game as well. You'll sort of notice it. Um, notoriously, I'll still mention on my old Let's Play, and I, I will fail to recreate this bug. Um, but on my old Let's Play, I, in the <laughs> last level, or the second last level, I wedged myself into the wall. Like, just as a glitch. Wompy. Uh, and this drops back into where that alligator pit was earlier in the level. So, now I'm gonna jump my way back out, go past the guy who keeps telling me about the big boy diner. I'll get that coin later, don't worry. And, uh, there's a door here. If you're ever injured, there's just health in here. I've been actively ignor ignoring it, so don't worry. I know slash don't know what I'm doing. There's another pinata door. He wants me to get to the secret. I shall ignore him. <laughs> oh. so, uh, okay, I will say some of these jumps are just mm, they're a little bit too far. A little bit. Mm, I should have should have played this a bit better. Uh, this. Let's have a is a very mean part of the level, I'll tell you that. I think it may be possible to jump past them, but... <sighs> gets in the way. Ah, and there's a beam okay. here anyway, so if, hey, if you do, if you try to do the, the secret exit first... <laughs> throws you off. That's okay, just continue on. Ow! God's got Ooh, axes. Ooh, jump right over that coin. Yum yum. Some programmers also just like <laughs> we did like you know like parts where the camera would automatically like follow around like certain walls and still Out people complain about the camera. Yeah, it's That's this. It's like this is a bit like too many platforms. Some of these charge jumps are just. Super awkward. These are probably some of the most awkward jumps in the whole game. Like, 
look at this. It's like... I think it's because you got a bit of weird momentum, like, after you do a jump. See what I mean? Oh my gosh, please. There you go, we burnt a Wampy. Sort of necessary though, because this, this trek is kind of like, there's, there's just too many obstacles in one route. It's, uh, it is very bad, I'm not just saying. I'm totally not bad, I swear. I swear, guys, I swear. Yeah, but uh, how did Operation Tango go? Well, it's got some interesting puzzles in there. Some of them are just like the things you expect. There's one bit where uh, both players have like halves of a, um, I'm gonna call it like a, well, not a, there is a bomb defusal ending, I will say that, where like one guy gets instructions and then the other guy like actually sees the bomb, but like, you know, they have to describe what they're doing quite well. Um, and, uh, on a, uh, there's a lot of coins in this route, by the way, we're already at 80. We're back, uh, here. I hear those kids in my nightmares, apparently. Um, here we go. Checkpoint. Oh. Nice. Every time. Uh, some of the puzzles are, like, Ow. nice. Is that two hits I took off that, by the way? Lama coming through. I should be able to heal eventually. Yeah, it's it's the same secret I saw before. They keep putting death pits everywhere. Uh, but, yeah, some of the puzzles are like, um, oh, like, one guy sees a key, and it's like a, a, um, a circular design. He basically has to describe that circular design to the other person. Uh, one person sees lasers and has to navigate the other one through. Usually, it's, uh, the agent who has to kind of physically walk around and do things, and it's the spy master who's giving instructions and things like that. Um, we're at 95, yeah, yeah. Because that is the end of the level, so. There you go. Another level down. Only one more level at the jungle day. Oh my gosh, look at the big boy at the diner. <laughs> it's terrible. But he is, that is the end of the level. They'll probably note it in the, in the fly through. There it is. Look at that, they recreated a part of the movie. Like, uh, they've been doing that for the rest of the game, but just, yeah. Uh, now, I did say, like, oh, you know, they've been using the mechanics normally. Well, uh, for a bit. We start getting into the whole, okay, we're toying around with all this extra stuff now. But sure, okay. Uh, first of all, this bird appears once in the film, and now I've made it extinct. Actually, I think it appears twice in this game, so it's endangered now. There we go. There's the other one. <laughs> like, it's not even a threat. It's just kind of here. Yeah. Um, yeah, generally the puzzles are alright. Uh, I did find that, like, some of the puzzles were not very um, fun to, like, go through blind on the first go. Uh, there are six... Oh, my computer's doing that weird audio thing. It will fix itself in a moment. There it is. I don't- I don't know what's going on with that. I'm having like weird like just... Maybe it's- I'm- I'm getting close to that time where I need to reinstall Windows. Um... Cause it happens generically as well when I'm not recording, so... I need to sort that out. But it did happen for the first time, uh, in the middle of a Pokemon yeah, stream, so... And that is a secret, by the way. That is just this door out of nowhere. Um... But yeah, uh, the game has uh, got six levels, six main levels, and uh, the fourth level, which involves effectively um, the hacker goes on like this cyber highway, and the uh, other person just kind of looks at some computer screens, and you're just doing that for like half level, and it's such a slog. Um, they try to like spice it up, 
by uh, presenting like, oh, you know, you can do this competitive challenge where the better you do without, like, I mean, you gotta not die, but the better you do without uh, goofing up. Oh my gosh. Ah, another fly. There you go. Uh, so the trick you gotta do is uh, you gotta put. I, this is a little confusing at first, but it, it makes sense after a bit. You put that, and we got another transformation potion. I'm a. F oh look, a frog! Frogs go further if they keep jumping. Mmm. Why does that fly suddenly look so tasty? The third jump is the biggest. Yeah, this is a, a wacky mechanic. Um, also, just to note, this reminds me of Mario 3 with the frog suit, where I think technically your body is moving like normal. It is a bit slower. Um, but the animation makes it look like your whole torso is a bit delayed. But trust me, you're just moving normally. Uh, the trick is, when you stand... Oh. I'm going through that door, okay. Why is, why is that door opening up? I'm pretty sure this just opens up when you go near it. Yeah, yeah. Press all the circle pads down at once. Eh, yeah, it's that kid again. Don't press the ones with crosses. Ribbit. <laughs> it just doesn't care. Um, pretty sure these are the only two coins in this room. Uh, but yeah, so the frog... Uh, they've lined it up pretty neatly, so if, if some people have trouble with this, just note the green circles on the floor. One jump jumps one of those, two jumps from two, three jumps from three, and then it's three for there on out. Uh, and that's your kind of way of tutorializing the jumps, which I think works decently nicely. You've seen me miss them. I gotta double check that it's not like coins on the ground. I don't think there are in this room, there are in some of the later rooms. Um, it's a bit tricky to keep it straight though, I'll tell you that. You might as well just have another crack at it from the beginning. And he's got no arms. Imagine having no arms. Actually, he does have arms, so just always on the ground. This is exactly how frogs work in real life as well. And they're red. Jeez, a piece of media where a character turns into red versions of animals. Never seen that before. Uh, but yeah, the oh my gosh, oh, well, I got the coin anyways, but okay. Um, some of the puzzles, yeah, just aren't particularly fun. Uh, some of them work fine, um, but it's definitely like uh, by the three-hour mark, we're like, yeah, it's sort of outside. It's welcome. We flip the the rolls, and. Uh, it was at this point that I was like, okay, I'm kind of just goofing and having a bit of fun. And then we're also trying to like, we're trying to speed run a little bit. Uh, but we did keep the spirit up. That's one of the end. <laughs> um, of uh, not looking at each other's screens. Trying to solve the puzzles in the way that we usually do. Um, and uh, it got a bit trickier the second time. <laughs> I don't know why. It was just like on the reverse side. Like, I don't know. Maybe my partner just didn't want to listen to me that time. We're no longer friends. <laughs> um, nah, but it's, it's all good. But, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a secret. It's got a wampy and everything. That's right, I gotta do these jumps again. <laughs> Through the hole. Uh, lots of coins in this room. Oh, I've definitely goofed up the pattern of jumps here. The jumps will unopen, but I think that was fine. Other than that one red switch. Is that 59 coins? We're good? We're good for this room? Did I write that down right? Yeah. Yeah, the door stays open though, so... Oh, no, no it doesn't! They goofed me. They actually goofed me really hard. Nice. This 
diagonal jump, I swear. Who did it? Almost there at the end, but I'm pretty sure they tucked a coin on the floor on this one. Oh, did they not? Okay. Well, they've done a good job. No coins on the floor. Good on them. They expect a diagonal jump here, so minus points. See me after class. And then they uh, just expect you to kind of freeform the jumps. Like, eh, it's not the not the easiest jumps to line up necessarily, especially with that coin just there. Whoa, I got it. Uh, 63 is the magic number. Uh, I wrote this next room the hardest puzzle in the game. Checkpoint. Are you ready for it? You don't even have to race them, it's just like pressing them in order. Why did I hear the sound way before that opened? There's only two coins here. As well, it's like, it's like what, what? Sure. Uh, lastly, we turn back because llamas are the only ones that can lift things. And there we go. We're almost at the end. It's at this point they're giving a, uh, they're giving coins, and we definitely are making this bird. And I've got no boost. <laughs> I hit the button and I was like, oh, I don't know what he's doing. Um, yeah, yeah. It, we found it harder on the second go in places, but then we're also kind of speed running because, like, I knew what we were doing. Also, there's uh, lobsters. I guess it's a lobster restaurant. Actually, lobsters kind of they get like a pill bug in the in the film. Tasty. And then Cusco's like, ew, icky bugs. I don't like bugs. And then they do this weird scene where. Cusco still thinks Yzma is like a friend. And then Yzma walks out and is like, I want to kill Cusco! Like, I don't, I don't know why he went that long, but sure, okay. Hey, Cusco, are you hungry? You and your stomach. Oh my gosh, look how much of the frame he occupies. I heard there's a red idol around here somewhere. And you didn't get it for me. I couldn't see it. Do you remember that guy who said, look at the big boy at the diner? Oh my goodness. He had a target in his face, and that is actually how you leave the level. The one bit of plot secrecy. Uh, that, that is the end of the level. I don't know why there's a hole down there. They used it in, the, in an older level to let the squirrel through, but the squirrel isn't on this level. Uh, that's it, by the way. That's the end of the jungle day. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed that world. We are 13 levels, actually 14 levels into the game. Um, do we get a video leading into the mountain? We do! We get the... After... After the bridge scene. With a no context, you just saved my life. Also, you, you miss the fact that that's supposed to be a callback to an earlier line. I do like the facial animation on Pacha, though. In general, as well, Disney's always had very on-point facial animation. Also, the bridge is out. Also, picture the bridge is there, and we're kind of just walking straight there. Because in the film, uh, they hadn't gone to the diner at that point. And then uh, Pacha just leaves them and goes back to the town. And then they rush back and they never go through mountains. So, this is a very just invented for the film or for the game uh, section. We got a lot of coins, but I don't think these levels are particularly long in any way. They're 
fairly straightforward, especially the third one. These mountains are very this dangerous. Is, this Stick is the me. greatest sequence of dialogue in the, in the entire game. Sure. This is the most hilarious thing in the world. Nice footwork, Chucky. I, I love it, I love it. Okay, see, I rip into this game for bits, and I say, like, oh, I don't remember, like, parts of the game, or, like, yeah, this doesn't get used much. Checkpoint. But then that happens, I'm like, mm. Watch out for scorpions. If you come across them, charge them twice. That'll stop them. Hey, I can look after myself. It's kind of weird as well. One, he just walks straight through these. Uh, but also, like, he says... Well, sorry, we did the lobsters, and the lobsters are already, like, the scorpions here. Um... But also, yeah, you can roll into them. You don't have to charge them. Anything that requires a charge can also be rolled. My villagers built some machines to help llamas cross the ravines. These statues control them. You and your dumb villagers built this? And it still works? Unfortunately, this one won't take my weight. Too bad. So long, peasant. Imagine being like paired up with a llama and the llama keeps calling you a peasant the entire game. That was one thing. One reviewer noted that like, unlike the film, Cusco in the game has zero like reflectional growth. He is constantly belittling Pacha the entire game for his weight. And it's like, you know, Yzma's the villain, sure, okay. But like, Pacha is like here to help and... <laughs> He just, he just annihilates him, so... Uh, here is a puzzle. Uh, we're gonna need to bring some statues out, but, uh... You're gonna have to put this one here. These have symbols of, like, four different heights, and they'll raise the platform it's on to that certain height. We have a little tiny rock on the left side, and that's your clue that you're gonna need to start lowish on the left side. Lowish. You got both extremes here as well, so... Use this as an opportunity to figure this out. This is a puzzle. I like this puzzle. It's neat, but it only happens once. This is what I mean. Again, the, they have this idea, and they only really cement it this one time. It's a shame because I feel like you know you could use some of these mechanics more often, and if you want to as well, spice it up. Add a you know maybe like oh you got to lift the platforms, but like. You know, say for example, uh, some of it's obscured, or maybe you're missing one of the ledges, or something like that. Like, use the platforms to descend rather than ascend, something like that. Um, but no, it's kind of just using this one scene, and then that's kind of it. And it's straightforward, it teaches you about this, you know, concept. But that's it. I would like more exploration. I feel like when people complain about the length of a game, it's like, you know, saying it's too short. Uh, this is what they mostly mean. I think that there's a plenty, you know, there's plenty of, like, concepts and mechanics in this game. It's just that, yeah, it's like, it's only use here. I mean, I'm going from location to location every, like, 25 minutes. You know, it's a bit quick. My stream is, like, just about, you know, we're just past the two-hour mark. This game really only takes four or five hours. Um, Maybe a little longer on the first playthrough, but definitely, like, once you know what you're doing, and you've looked around a ton, you know, that's kind of it. Uh, I wrote down 23. Yeah, there you go. That's a 23. Ooh, yeah. nice. Uh, but yeah. Uh, there also exists a challenge mode, although the challenge mode was kind of weird, because it's like, uh the same scene over and over again, but they effectively deprecate one feature and then add one new one. Um, this one is the one elusive coin there. Uh, we'll, we'll find a way to get back up there later, don't worry. Um, uh, so the challenges varied in length and weren't exactly like a culmination of every single hard mechanic you've done. It's more like just like, ah, oh, you know, it's like a little tiny scenario that's just very, very separate everything. But sometimes it would, and again, it would introduce a new mechanic. In fact, that game has the same quirks as this one, where it's like, I would love to see more uses of those same mechanics. Maybe like, you know, cross combine them a bit more. Um, but uh, while, oh my gosh. There we go. Um, 
but instead, uh, like, I guess the other thing though is that like, hey, if you see the, the things more than once, you're gonna be like, hey, I know how to do this. Uh, but I don't know, some of those challenge maps involve, like say for example, there's this one puzzle where uh, it's like there's two halves of a symbol, a left half and a right half, and you have to describe the left half and right half. Um, because it's like, oh, some have different combinations of things. Look at that jump. Oh my gosh, is that the bat signal the cave? Is that what they meant? <laughs> that part? I mean, you can see this cave a mile away. It is a cave, though. It counts. It is a secret as well. Oh my gosh, spider. Keep him close to the camera so that, you know, everyone can enjoy him. If you've got arachnophobia, I'm not sorry. I'm from Australia. The spiders killing you is like, well, they do, they can kill people, but like, it is a bit of a meme. You'll never find oh, spiders baby. this big, and usually when a spider's that big, it ain't biting people. <laughs> the worst ones are like the little tiny ones, like the redbacks. Um, huntsmen's are not very fun either, but huntsmen's are a bit more passive. Redbacks, they're a bit dumb. They, they are a bit dumb. Otherwise, everything else, like, you know, your daddy long legs. Daddy long legs are your friends. Keep them around. Don't, like, vacuum up their children. It's not very... F <laughs> they don't like it. Um, but, like, they, they can't bite people, really. They got They have to, you know, catch things in the web in order to really, like, you know, get them. So, they're not gonna... I think... Aren't they the ones that, like, constrict with their web? Something like that? Um... Llama coming whoa. through! There you go. Hi there. Charge on the treadmill, llama. I'm too little. Too little and too annoying. Uh, this is a mechanic that's literally used here. Out of my way! And one very weirdly uh, weird moment at the very end of the game in a secret that most people don't actually, like, remember. It, it's there, trust me. There's a well. We totally didn't rip this from, uh, Croc 2. I swear, it's original, but then you can also see this Lava ledge over here. Oh my through. gosh, camera. Hmm. An X. Oh, it's, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's out of here. Look at this. Whoa. It's my Wompy. Good old Wompy. Uh, I believe this game was on the, um, the Humble, uh, monthly, um, I'll say last month, as in June, but, it, you know, by the time you're watching this, eh, we've got a little bit left of July. I think we got, we got 31 in this month, so, yeah, okay. Okay, I'll be streaming next month, uh, next, well, I will be streaming next Monday. I'll be still streaming in July. Sick. That means I need to come up with more things before October. We've got plenty of two months before October, plus another week. I'm getting very Monsters Inc. on the PS1 vibes, but at least, hey, you know, these levels are... I swear the ground texture is way more impressive than that game. Even the rock texture. I like these bridges, I like the fact that this entered a cave. That's kind of cool. That's, that's the end of the level. There you go. Nice. We done skis. We done those. We done needos. But yeah, I, is it worth the full price? I don't know. I think it might do better as a 15 Australian games or $10 US game. Um, it currently goes for double that rate and the puzzles are not particularly great fun the second time. Um, I think some people say if you find this game too easy, just have like a doofus like friend. And I'm like, yeah, sort of, but I do think that you need that mystery for both people. It's very hard for, like, one person to then play it with someone who hasn't played it before, because it's like, I don't know, you've, you've seen it already, so. Uh, we might have a good opportunity where no pacha. This bird. This reminds me of Tomb Raider 3. So, uh, you gotta, you gotta shoot that bird. If you see the feathers, you did it right. We'll go over, rest on this perch for a hot moment. And that's enough time to cross over to the other side. Which you'll need to do, because there's a rock. Let's yeah, have yeah. a 
pressure him to get back down there. Here we go. We'll get these coins on the way back. Or, nope. Way back. Oh, I'm gonna go too far otherwise. <laughs> Maybe not. Whoop! <laughs> Bit too far. Bit too much. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I do think that there is a, a fun niche for a co-op game. It's just... Mm, not fully my cup of tea. Um, no touchy. And last one as well, uh, I would like to mention, I have started playing Ooh, yeah. one hour worth of Xenogears. I have one singular achievement on Steam. So on Steam? Oh, that would someone would have flipped out after hearing that. They're like, Steam? Steam? It's on Steam. No, it's not. It's on. Sorry, retro achievements. I, I made you panic. Sorry, on retro achievements. Literally, uh, it's uh, protect the village in the intro sequence. Um, but it was enough of an intro sequence, and I was uh, talking to a lot of people and also kind of taking my time on that one. So maybe it took a bit too long for an hour, but... Look at that sound effect that was in Croc, oh my gosh! They have the same CD for sound effects! Freesound.org! There you go. Uh, whoa, where did I write down you went? I think you go this way, actually. Boom, Lots baby. of gods, I'll tell you that. Also, check this out. Oh, yeah. This secret is one that catches people on. Uh, I think I went down this way, but yeah. Again, it's a blue beetle. It's not red. We still have yet to see the red beetle again. Checkpoint. Yeah, let's get this guy. Now, you're supposed to circle around with the statue, and let's charge this, just to knock it down. Um, this, oh, sorry, are you? You got it, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out, I've, I've forgotten the sequence of things in this level, but you gotta use the statue to actually boost your way up into this cave. It's a secret to everyone, and it's got a Wompy, so. Wompy! I like how nonchalantly I've been like, approaching all the secrets in this game. I'm like, hey, you're just going here, you got a Wampy. I burnt one Wampy. That's all you need. But yeah, I feel like um, there's one person I saw who's got like a long play, like 100% long play. But a lot of their clips are kind of like edited mid-level. You don't get like the actual experience of like, what does the game actually play like to 100%? They kind of stop and start a bit. Here and there. Um, some people are probably going to hate this, like, oh, but you're talking over the game. You're ruining it. And I'm like, mm, maybe, but... Uh, maybe, actually. I, I, I do like giving my opinions and, and things like that. Uh, this is a stupid ledge. Who's going to see this? This is a croc level of just, like, random secret. There are some secrets in that game, by the way, I did not know until... After I did my let's play, like there's some like the weird platform at the top where you ground pound it three times and then you can like, <laughs> you know, you teleport to a bonus room. But I think every level has a bonus room for hearts and a lot of them it's just like, okay, there's a cliff and you just have to kind of like blind jump down here and it's a platform. Uh, oh, you gotta get the statue from the other side. Yeah, that's why. I knew the statue was meaningful. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. What a bit gutsy on the jump. It's easier to just, you know, go back down. Oh, you see that weird? <laughs> there is some bizarre perspective warping, by the way, when the camera pitches down. And you'll notice it in some rooms more than others. But I swear, it's like, this is one of the first PS1 games in a long time. Where it's like, what is going on here? It's just some really bizarre perspective warping. It looks fine when you're, when you're horizontal. Um... And yeah, when you look down, oh, it's weird as well. This game doesn't have the the wobble effects that bad. They do a good job. It doesn't have, you know, you see what I mean? Well, you probably don't see what I mean, but you'll see what I mean when you actually see a thing wobble in a different PS1 game. So trust me on that one. Power the the thing with a statue. That's how this works, apparently, right? 
Yeah. Ooh. This very argonaut platform. Okay, I'm at 62. That is a good number. Uh, this is also another kind of cheeky secret. So, there is a bird just there, and he's gone out of frame. He is, he's gone past the draw distance, but you can definitely hit the bird. He's got his own perch. Look at that, they re- oh my gosh, really. They reused the mechanic. There you go, I got the bird. Uh, there'll just be a random platform that just comes out of the ether over there. Hi, does he know how to land? There he goes. It just comes out of nowhere. And it makes the sound effect when you go back. But this is uh, another secret. It's just it's just here. This is probably one of the harder ones to, to know even existing. Um, but that should pop you at 70 coins, which is a good number. Uh, yes, that is actually a good number. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, where's the bird from going? I'm going to get the bird to, to help you out again. And, uh, the last bit of coinage for the level is this absolutely mean one. You saw it right there. It's on, it's on top of the door you came in. I mean, they did that in, in like... The, you know, outside the treadmill in the previous level, but still, still. Tweet, tweet. No, you're supposed to say XX. Get lost, weirdo. Oh, look, how cute. Oh, little llama. Oh, little llama. Whatever, freak boy. I am Condor Man. Tweet, tweet. Not only have I been turned into a llama, but now I'm talking to a man dressed as a bird. What a lovely. Well, llamas talk to me all the time. Failures. Tweet, I can fly. Tweet, tweet. Think you can fly? Okay, bird brain. Prepare to be launched. This is... Okay, this is the beginning of llama the... Oh, you gotta, you gotta charge him straight, by the way, and then if you goof it up... Oh, you gotta watch him go all the way, well, sort of all the way around, because he's definitely shortcut a bit. But yeah, you gotta charge him straight on. It's not really a power, I think. I don't think power comes into play. But uh, this man is very dead. And he doesn't appear for the rest of the game, by the way. But yeah, this is probably... The first of the bizarre things that definitely didn't happen in the film. And there will be more in, in the next stream, mostly. I still have one more level to go, so don't worry. There's a little, little tiny bit more. I love these painted backdrops. They're great. They're good fun. Thank you, loading screen. Thank you, loading screen. They take a bit of time, but you know what? At least it's not like Croc, where it has to load between the lo between the scenes. This level is crazy straightforward, though. <laughs> like, you'd be surprised how short it is. Mostly because the fly-through was short. Maybe that's your tell. Get that one guy. And we got another one of these boulders. Chilling up here. Perspective walking going on again. Whew, that boulder nearly squashed me. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm trapped by these boulders. What's wrong? You started an avalanche? There are safe places with charge boosters. But I couldn't get very far because I'm a bit too slow. You got that right. Rip. Rip them. Yeah. Uh... Only other thing I guess I'd mention, I keep mentioning the RTX 460 Ti 16 gigabyte, which has sort of, it was meant to come out last Checkpoint. week, or just after my stream last week, because um, I thought people were rumoring that the 18th was when it was going to come out. Then a bunch of retailers in Australia wrote Checkpoint. the 25th, 
then a bunch wrote the 28th, then a bunch wrote the 31st, and now I'm currently sitting on mm, maybe the 31st, but like, why is it that, like, the retailers themselves keep changing the dates now? Like, we're at this weird point. Oh, oh I'm a pro. I'm a pro. I've done this before. We gotta have a good, you know, run away from the boulder sequence. We're not running away from the boulder, you're kind of going head on. But the boulders conveniently go right across the very croc-like platforms that I, I swear croc to as ledges that just look exactly like this. That is a secret, by the way, and there's a wampy. Did you, did you spot that? This is the wampy ledge. It's my wampy. You're at 38 by this point. You've done. You're done good. You've followed the the coins well. Out of my way. And he's very dead. Ugh. Don't worry. Cats have nine lives. Llamas have five. Ah! Oh, I wanted to get to that checkpoint there. I used to have, like, not nightmares, <laughs> it's very, very, uh, dramatic, but, like, PTSD of this music, which, is, was that worse than nightmares? Um, but, like, every time you hear this music, I'd always think this is the music when you ran away from the Jaguars, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm gonna be running away from the Jaguars, even though they used it for, like, the first Heisma fight. Um, there you go, do a bit of a runner, get the coins. And then the music is like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> you did it. More coins. And then we're gonna get a red idol. And another gold coin. Why not? That's easier to get before you get the idol, because if you miss the jump, then it's like, oh, whoops. Another boulder! We got two of them in this level. A pot. With a bunch of coins. If you're at 63, you've done well. But now you've got the oh, yeah. hardest challenge ahead of you. Uh, and this is perhaps maybe gonna ask me to like restart the level. We'll, we'll see. It's not too long a level. The level ends just after this. But we have our boss battle. It's a little annoying. Uh, <laughs> Kronk's here and he's just like... Hey, Llama. Wanna play? No. I'll bet I can collect the green idols before you. Emperors have servants that collect idols for them. It's worth a red idol if you win. Out of my way! Those idols are mine. Apparently green idols are no good, but sure. Uh, do you remember the, uh, the, the popcorn crystals, uh, minigame from... Oh, really, 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 really? No, I got it. Okay, cool. Uh, you have to get all seven of these, by the way. For every one you get, Kronk drops a coin after the, the, uh, the event. Also, I don't know why I'm, like going all over the place. Uh, make sure you're picking up the boosters, because uh, otherwise I'll oh, charge statue thing. Oh, no! I'm doing it. We're committing seppuku. Yeah. No, I can't commit seppuku. Yeah. I can't commit seppuku. Crunk's gonna just be done. You won. Here, take this red idol. Hmm, I am brilliant. Yeah, he only drops one coin. Look at that, the stream is not over yet. I'm gonna have to redo the level. It's the end of the world as well, so we go back to the main menu. It's kind of annoying, it's like if you want to redo the level, you can't just quit. You, you, you can't just quit, you gotta, you gotta... Go back to the main menu, load a save. Also, yeah, if you're not doing like save and continue, you can't just go back to the... You know what I mean? Like, you can't do this without a memory card in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, as you can see, no gold. No gold means no, no good, but that's okay. We'll, we'll blitz through the level again. But yeah, no, that, that one is like, oh, it throws you off because it's just like, you've got to pick him up sort of close to when Kronk is going to get him because otherwise then he's too close to the next one. You know how that works. Um, at least... With the popcorn crystals, a hunter didn't, Check you know, require you to get every single one of them. It's only seven, it's not even that high a number, but it is, like, kind of there, so. May I reiterate, the music is a vibe. Whoever Check did the music, point. and, uh, I, his name will show up at the end of the next stream, because it's in the credits. He's credited Check as point. lead musician. 
he does a great job. All my homies love that croc music. Anytime that like cave music jam comes on, they're like, oh, that's where I'm at. And I always like how a lot of these, um, these licensed games have elements of that, that, you know, that there will be the best oh, licensed games through. are not necessarily the most perfect games, but they've got some things that are very well done about them. I think a lot of people will note that, uh, that Toy Story 2 game, myself included, yeah. toot my own horn. Um, to my own horn, I didn't work on that game. Why am I to my own, my own horn? Um, uh, but like, I, I really like that Toy Story 2 game uh, from Traveler's Tales. Um, and uh, it's got like fairly neat level design. It's like, hey, this is actually kind of kind of cool how it's all integrated. The music's a good jam, looks fine. That game deserves to be, you know, held up to a really higher degree than many other licensed games. Um, but then I would play that Buzz Lightyear of Star Command game that I mentioned. Uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna jump so I don't get crushed, and that was perhaps a worse option. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that Buzz Lightyear of Star Command game, I'm like, okay, well the music isn't really on point. Like, it's, it's sort of the same vibe, but it doesn't scream out really as catchy in any- Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, this is what I get yeah, for going yeah. a bit more aggressive, like trying to, trying to blitz through it. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, graphically it wasn't really there, gameplay-wise it wasn't really there. The full motion videos were weirdly out of context. Um, and it's like, that's one where it's like, there's no redeeming qualities of that game. Like, there's nothing that's particularly great about it. You don't need everything to be great, you just need one thing before it's... yeah, sure. Um, this game has that element of bizarreness, uh, and I think that kind of holds it up well enough. I this is not a masterpiece, Whee! but it's got its bits. It's oh, got yeah. its bits. Um, it is a bit of a shame as well. I, I think I, and I, I described this at the beginning of the... Um, the, the croc let's play ages ago, but the, you know, the story hasn't exactly changed yet because no one's really brought back croc. Oh, yeah. But uh, the, the company Argonaut um, started to churn out more and more licensed games. They did those Harry Potter ones, but I don't know, I guess maybe the PS1 versions just weren't that popular. Checkpoint. Uh, but their last game was Catwoman on the PS2, which is a uh, it's an example. Okay, 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 okay. One down. Okay. Oh, I bounced some sort of there. At least the camera straightens up for you. Like, it's strange. But, like, oh, no, 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 no. Listen, it's, e it's easier to load the save. Ah, It's frustrating. It is frustrating. But I am going to do this live on stream. Just so you, the viewer, know exactly how much pain this is, apparently. Uh, also, you saw gold coins on the save. That is the thing they track. Um, so you can see if, you, if you're going back through levels. Uh, they all have a gold coin to tell you you got all the coins. And the Wampy, if you found the Wampy. They don't exactly track if you got every secret. You may be thinking, doesn't gold coins mean you probably found every secret? And the answer is... One singular secret I know of doesn't contain any coins or a wampy. It only contains health. And so it's actually a an optional secret. I will show it off. Uh, I think right now I've been, you know, perfect secrets in every level so far. So nothing weird there. But yeah, in the second stream, there's going to be something like that. And it's like, oh, okay, sure. Um, this is the real, like, spend all my, my time on this. Um... But yeah, I knew I'd spend... I feel like... This is a prediction. We'll, we'll know by the end of next week. Um, but it's my hunch that, like, doing these 17 levels is probably a little longer than the next Checkpoint. 13. So I'm just, I'm just predicting now. I'm predicting this stream is longer than next week's stream. Yeah. But is that a bit meta? I don't know. Maybe I gotta find an actual topic to talk. 
I did finish Zelda, by the way. I, I, I did a mostly, like, you know, I've talked about it last week, and none of my opinions particularly changed other than, uh, they put quick time events in the finale of the game. And I, 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 I did indeed go, hmm, what happens when I don't do the quick time events? And yes, it is exactly yeah. as you suspect. Link does nothing. He just waits, and the music is trying to hold that, you know, hold that, that cadence. It's really trying to, it's really trying to hype up the moment, but, uh, yeah. it can't, because you're not going anywhere. Uh, and it does it, like, three times, back to back. It's a bit weird. But, uh, it was a neat final boss. I did appreciate it. Um, otherwise, yeah, everything else about that game was basically like, yeah, I did it, so, uh, there's not really any mysteries left to be found. Um, so yeah, I said all my thoughts last week, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, but it definitely ends as I'd expect. So, good on it, good on that game. It's a good fun game. Give it a go. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, and yeah, I've started Xenogears as my next kind of long-form game. Uh, the only thing I can particularly say about it right now is, uh, it's got that wonderful, that wonderful PS1, um, just kind of presentation. It's like, it does do sprites on the, on the overworld in a 3D model space, similar to how, uh, newer games like Octopath Traveler and, uh, Live Alive and Octopath Traveler 2 and all that, like, a bunch of newer RPGs are doing it, but it's like... Uh, the sprites are not that, like, low resolution in this one. That is a big thing I I felt in various other yeah. of these, uh, newer JRPGs. It's like, those sprites are one, one scale of resolution a bit too low. Checkpoint. Do you think it's weird that Crunk just sees the talking llama and then is like, uh, challenge him to a skating challenge? He even says, uh, the Emperor has servants, and yet he... I thought I like really screwed him over. Llama coming through. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm gonna need a boost. Okay, 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 okay. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I keep like kind of slowing down. Hey, no, no. There we go. First try. First try. <laughs> you won. He doesn't say anything yeah, different other than, I guess, if you lose. But the problem was, I wasn't, I wasn't, I, am brilliant. <laughs> I was getting four of them, and then I wasn't, uh, miss, or I missed one of the rest, so, you can't bail at that point. Look at that, first try. Gold points. There you go. So, uh, when you think about it, not much actually has happened in the film, either. But it's a very short film, so really you just kind of go back to the palace and then eventually you fight Yzma. That's what we do. But, to allude to the next stream, we're in the city. How much weird stuff could happen in the city, right? Oh, trust me, trust me, it is absolutely bizarre. So with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, or you learned something new, or whatever, uh, you can follow me on Twitch, or subscribe on YouTube, or I say stuff on Pleroma. Uh, I would say I have a Twitter, but the Twitter is, well, one, it's X now. Mm. I don't even talk about that. Just, it's a thing. It's happening. Um, but yeah, I, I give thoughts on Pleroma. So yeah, follow me on Pleroma for more, like actual crazy thoughts um if you missed any bit of the stream uh you can just view it again on youtube it'll be there pretty soon within 24 hours and uh if you like the stream and you want to see more uh there's more stuff on youtube well not more stuff it's always been the same stuff but it, it's there on youtube if you miss anything because which only holds stuff for a bit uh, and if you're on youtube uh tune in next week where there'll be more stuff or you can view it on twitch at 8 30 p.m australian eastern standard time so with that thank you very much uh, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, and uh, remember uh, Demon Llama, I guess. Is that what we're going for? Okay. Alright, have a good one everyone. See ya!